of gamers and fans and all right. Game all should we do a should we do show. a kickoff shot but before that you want to do a kickoff shot let's do let's read the rules for the uh, oh, game, sure. the game awards first night. of all anytime a celebrity hits the stage take a sip yes, let's game awards it. theme take a sip game pass mention take a sip a you see kojima take a shot awkward celebrity appearance take a shot truck shot of a developer making art assets take a shot jeff dances take a shot Imagine Dragons, take a, a shot. Yeah. Welcome to the Game Awards with sons, Lawrence and Bruce. The Inside Games, gaming, ga- Inside Games Awards. Yeah, why Inside not? Games is awards. The Inside Games is awards. Is what, you want to take a shot to begin? Yeah. What's this? Joseph Ferris is already on on the stream. He's doing something with 505. We might want to click it back to that. Yeah, there we go. Is this Brothers Two? Come on. We were just talking about Brothers. We were. We all loved Brothers. No, I didn't love Brothers. This looks like Brothers. This fucking looks like Brothers. <laughs> I think it is Brothers 2. Bro! Right? No. No! Why? What's wrong with Brothers 2? This is two? Brothers! What's wrong with Brothers 2? They two? brought it back. So what? What? Why? Wait. There shouldn't be Brothers, though. Why not? Did they die? Uh-oh. Spoiler! It's an indie game. One Bruce. of the Brothers dies. I'll give you a guess. Yeah. One of the Brothers dies in Brothers. But apparently not, because there's a sequel now. That is some coincidence, though, isn't it? It is a really weird coincidence. Ten actually. years experience. Oh, is it a remaster? Ah, oh, eat my ass! Remember what I said, guys. The <sighs> biggest reveal of the show is going to be a remake. Fuck me! I said that. Incredible. It's an indie game. Why does it need to be remastered? It doesn't. It's not about fidelity. I know it doesn't. You're right. Family game. But that's all the games industry does now is make remakes. But no one even liked. Well, people liked it, but nobody bought. And the nominees do a shot? are Let's do a shot. Yeah, Disney fuck it. Illusion Island. Bum, 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 Party bum, bum. Animals. Best Family Game. Yeah, Super Wonder is going to win. Let's do a shot. Wonder is the biggest one. Let's do a shot. Grab, grab, the, grab the bottle. Grab the bottle. Pour us a shot. All right. All right. Who cares about Best Family Game? And the Game I like, Award I like goes Wonder. to it's Super Mario Brothers Wonder. Obviously. Super Mario Brothers Wonder. Yeah, obviously. It's a, it's a popularity contest, bro. Whoa. You okay if I dribble on your mouse pad? Uh, you. I mean, as long as you don't dribble a lot, you're good. All right. Hold on. Let me. Thank you that's so fine, much fine. for yeah? this okay. award. It's a good starter this shot. This is shared with all the teams at Nintendo that worked on Super Mario Brothers Wonder. Obviously. All right. In my experience, Cheers, Bruce. the team Tomorrow. really tried to develop that's a Mario. game that, that, that. that allowed people to work together, to play together, whether it was friends <laughs> or it was family. <laughs> <laughs> and for me, <laughs> my personal experience is <laughs> ah, it's like a hospital in my mouth. All right. Uh, by the, the way, just so you know, and, somebody and just came into the chat and, and said, can you show the stream? There's going to be a lot of this. You're going to be watching this playing, and not the stream. So if you want to watch the stream, you should watch Mario, the stream. But this is Peach, us watching the Yoshi, stream, just so you know. Abbott, so you're going to be frustrated. You're going to be bothered. I would like Thank to see you. the stream. So I know well, I'm going to show the stream, but I want to make sure they know. Mm. You may not see the stream every time you want to see it. So just go watch it somewhere else. It's okay. Super Mario Brothers it's all right. Wonder. Doug Bowser said some and shit. And now I have a we missed some like BS team shit about how everyone at Nintendo shares the Yeah, it's all right. It's no big deal. We're watching the stream. We're watching is the next game from there was already Daniel a remaster the, the first announcement of the, of the show TGI was a remake. I told you the biggest announcement of the show is going to be a remake Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. I said that oh a new new game from inscription devs I think I picked that one. oh yeah open another monitor Garviel great that's good advice good oh advice. Uh, runic USB yeah synced in another tab fantastic advice I love this man that's smart people in chat fuck love I'm it. way more subservient I would I would bow to every chat's whim no, absolutely I'm not. I'm glad you're here, Bruce, because I would be a total pushover. Well, I'm, I'm only saying that because I know that they're going to be bothered later, and I don't. We're going to be even more drunk, so I don't oh, like. Yeah. I don't want them to be upset. I want them. Oh, to, I like this. I want to manage expectations. I like me a dither. Ah, uh, we should have had a shot roll for dithers. <laughs> <laughs> Those are some cozy dithers. Hey, if y'all pay attention, I've been dithering on the inside games thumbnails here and there. It's my own little my signature. Have? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I haven't noticed the dither. You got to do a gradient and then export it for web at eight colors. And then you get a good dither. But then you got to bring it back into Photoshop and scale it up. You know what's weird about that? Views are down on the Inside Games channel. So I wonder if the dither is causing... I haven't used it lately. <laughs> so I think it's the opposite. Why is there FMV in there? I'm just kidding. Nah, we just got to gotta put more dick on the thumbnails. We need more dick and boobs. Yeah, thank Tits you. and ass. That's why GTA 6 has captivated the world. You know what's funny? Somebody was like, oh, are people going to have a problem with GTA 4 or GTA 6 playable protagonist? I was like, no, if she's got a fat ass, everyone will be fine with it. And she does, and everyone is. Of course. Who's not fine with a fat ass? Is there a Pony Island 1? 
Bro, don't even play around with an indie game release date that's more than a year away. Everybody's fine with a fat- I told you, Lawrence, remember what I said? They're gonna be showing a bunch of indie games that no one gives a fuck about? Unless they got fat asses. Unless they have fat asses, and I promise you, most indie games do not have fat asses. They should, though. Nintendo figured it out. There was definitely a moment where the Switch got flipped and suddenly, like, Splatoon Oh and yeah, they all have fat asses, you're right. Fat asses. <sighs> we need more of that, man. Is this Disco Elysium something? It looked like- nah. It looked like Disco Elysium character art, but it's not. Yeah, it does look like Disco Elysium art, you're right about that. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What about- I'm excited for the indie games that try to, like- Oh, the Curse of the Golden Idol, it's a sequel. I haven't played Curse of the Golden Idol yet. Unless it's a knockoff. You're a, not a gamer, then. Mm. Yeah, you failed. Yeah. I haven't finished uh, Return of the Obra Dinn, either. Mm. You, you know, you're- I'm disappointed in you. Very much so. Let's see here. I'm gonna make us bigger. People want to see us larger once. They want us to cover the hashtag game. Awards. I'm definitely covering the hashtag game awards. 100. <clears throat> percent Did you guys know if you uh, go on X and you favorite a post about Twitter the game awards? I'm not. I, I hey, I keep up to date, man. If, if my social media say I'm called this now, I'm like, you got it. <clears throat> anyway, if you go and you like an X post with a hashtag game awards on it, it, it plays a little game award animation. Twitter. He means Twitter. <laughs> He means Twitter, guys. Well, history will show that I... I adapt. <laughs> history will show. Well, you know what we need, in addition to the Game Awards? What? We need a segment where we call out games journalists that rated a game too high. We need, oh. like, a like a shill award. So, you know... IGN the the rated game. Call of Duty Advanced Warfare a 10 or whatever. Or, yeah. like, all the, like, 9... 9.5 Starfield reviews. <laughs> yeah. Get... We need to have, a, like, a sweat box where at the end of the year somebody gets up and tries to justify their, their good reviews. You know, we haven't done a victory lap on Starfield. I thought we did. But we've... I'm gonna... Well, I'm gonna do another victory lap. We said over and over that Starfield... That looks cool. ...is gonna... Yeah, it does, but it's another indie game that no one cares about. Um... Starfield's going to be mediocre and okay. This. Reminds me and, of my again, we both enjoyed playing it, I but... Nearly as big as that. It wasn't you the, the be-all, end-all of video games like media. a lot of people said. And speaking so, there you of go. social media, we TikTok win. Live we were right is again. happening now Hashtag across 50 plus countries on TikTok. on TikTok. Check out the participating gaming creators <laughs> and don't forget to share so, so all TikTok of your something. favorite gaming moments on TikTok with hashtag gaming on TikTok. It's not mediocre okay, though, it we're is. We're going to take a quick break. Um, most but most there reviews is have said it is mediocre. After a very um, Steam message. reviews are so saying it's mediocre. Cool. Lots of lots of different things are saying it's mediocre. The journey and Greg Miller gave Uncharted three a ten. A a I believe that Greg Miller thought it was a ten. It's still being. I mean, every Bethesda game is still being worked on, which is great. Again, I didn't say that it wasn't uh, not being worked on. It's this gonna be cool. It'll be worked on for a long time. This What's going on here? Untamed. I don't think Starfield sucks oh, at all. I enjoyed the hell out of it. Is this, this is some Bandai Namco shit? Oh man! Oh, is this I games as a service? You didn't expect there to be another anime in that coffin, did you? So yeah, Starfield is just fine, and I again, I enjoyed it. Maybe this is what Platinum Games is doing. Yeah, this kind of looks like a mobile game, though. Tim mm. Lepwich said all of us are so old that no one thought to add TikTok plug as a drinking rule. I don't think that's going to happen very often during the actual awards show. Yeah. Also, Tim, hey, it's been a while. It has been a while. Whoosh. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, game, it's Ark Knights. Is that okay. free to play games and service? No. Uh, it is a free to play game. Ark Knights is a mobile. So that's free to play games and service. I'll I'll go ahead and drink for that. Yeah. Too. All right. Sure. I'll drink for these fake games and service. Like this one. Oh, definitely. Oh boy, it's got hot bars at the bottom. Oh, you can build your own wacky pagoda house. That's cool. <laughs> it's kind of like Blade Point. No. What is this? It's not a take a shot. That's a sip. Yeah, because that's going to be the whole game or the whole show. Remember, we're not doing world premieres anymore because it's all this. It's all season 15 of Ancient China Wars, the mobile game. I'm not comparing any any game to Starfield at all. I think Starfield is a just fine video game that I enjoyed very much because I knew what it would be. But a lot of people were very surprised that it wasn't the space simulator they thought it would be. We tried to warn you. We tried to warn you. We we're warned the only you. ones who can see through the hype. We warned you over and over. We said. And nobody... Nobody wanted to listen to us, and they insulted our families and, yeah. and our appearances. It's tragic. Tragic. 
the rogue we are we are truly the most tragic figures in games <laughs> we have a sad life guys first it was angry joe getting burned up by jeff on camera and now it's us oh yeah no scooter man nobody should be comparing to cyberpunk that's like saying baldur's gate 3 should win game of the year because it was released three years ago Guys, guys, don't worry. Baldur's Gate 3 is going to win game of, the, game of the Year. Bruce, you're wrong. Bruce, you're wrong. They will. Remember when fucking the Game Awards gave best soundtrack to Near Automata Remake <laughs> instead of Cyberpunk just because it wasn't politically <laughs> politically okay? We got we to gotta get rid of the sycophants, Bruce. We got to make gaming real again. It's true. How do we do that? Dude, that dude looks like Wolverine. Nice. Did you see the, the clips of Hugh Jackman squatting? Oh no, I didn't. Yeah, he's doing deadlifts, man. He's getting back in wolvie shape. Hell yeah. How can you how can you keep doing it? Greatest showman. I haven't played Rogue Trader yet, actually. I've been meaning to play it. Huh? Facebook's here. Wait, yeah, but this is the Metaquest though. This is not Facebook gaming. You're right. I don't think they care about that anymore. You to see a uh, to the aren't ground. they done pretending to like I invest in that? I think you're right, yeah. Lawrence and I, it's, our game of the year is Tears of the Kingdom, the um, but we know it's not going to win. Yeah, it's, so. it's something weird about, treasure. I get it, but at the same time, it's a little Where odd, or it's like, yeah, it's Nintendo, right? Damn, you expect it to be good. good yeah, but it's like, it's but Baldur's Gate was the surprise. Be but it's perfect. Tears of the Kingdom is a perfect video game. Like, there are no bugs. Yeah. The, the game cars. allows you to do anything you want. Like, it's like a, it is a perfect video game. Well, it's, it's more important than that, I think. It... It is a it is a game that is about engineering. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Uh, it it could potentially teach kids about how to make the world better, about like building machines. It allows you to create. Yeah. 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 And and Baldur's Gate three, I think, has an has a right. like a yes. pro social aspect as absolutely. well. Absolutely, absolutely. But God, Tears of the Kingdom can teach Welcome people how to how to like build. Game yeah. Awards which is so fascinating. And, and Baldur's Gate three can Cindy teach people how to problem solve, which is amazing. Again, I think the it's a very tight race. The and to Lawrence massive, and I, Tears of the Kingdom, honestly, uh, the only reason for me is and Tears of the Kingdom was released without an early access period. Mm. That's the only reason it wins for me. Their teams have created so. software and, it, like, and hardware that make it possible it runs for people stably of all abilities on the to Switch. experience the medium of gaming. They made a, they they made a game that has like it's magic. more open world functionality than honestly the modern Bethesda game. Uh, I hate to keep dunking on Starfield, but it's like, <laughs> it's an important point Diablo of comparison. War. Nintendo Forza outdid Motorsport. Bethesda at open world Hi -Hi physics Rush. games. That's right, yeah. Marvel Spider-Man 2. Accessibility. Mortal yeah. Kombat 1. And Street Fighter 6. I actually don't and know the, the I don't, I can't predict this one. Marvel Spider-Man 2. No? Weird. I wouldn't have expected oh, Forza. Well, I mean, like, Xbox is pretty good at accessibility, usually. Thank you so much. Uh, look at all, this, look at all these uh, not dudes. They did it, Bruce. They did it. I'm Jeff so glad Jeff put a bunch of not dudes on the stage. I'm sure when he emailed these people and was like, hey, you want an award? Don't send a dude. Yeah. Do not send a dude. I don't care what you do. At this point, I think send anyone else. Go as far down your employment hierarchy as you have to. Do not give me a fucking dude with glasses. Don't you dare. Look, be turned away at the door. None of this would have been possible without the amazing teams. Did you play Forza Motorsport at all? I did. I, I mean, I enjoyed it. Well, I'm not a racing game fanatic, so it's not really my thing, but I, I enjoyed what I played. This game the best yeah, it was it can be. Big thank you to super the straightforward, team, to which I guess I don't really have a problem with, but I'm just surprised that that's what they chose to make. And last but last not least, Brandon Cole for being our uh, accessibility consultant and partner for the last two years. We're really proud of the Having trouble we've visualizing how a racing game wins accessibility? Uh, there's a lot of assists in Forza. Uh, there's a lot of like, you can turn on and off a lot of different aspects of the game, which I think is an accessibility issue. Forza Motorsport. And then Microsoft has also been very uh, aggressive about peripherals that are uh, accessibility. Any game game that makes it a priority. And our next developer, the Odd Gentleman, believed that by making their games this, uh, and their company accessible developer? and Absolutely it is. I told you over and over, it's just going to be a bunch of indie play. games. And I guess Dapper Dandy is here with a new platformer. The weird thing about indie games, so here's the weird, I was talking to Lawrence about this, and I don't want anybody to think I'm shitting on indie games, because I play a ton of indie games throughout the year. But when you see them and they show 15 seconds of gameplay, it looks like nothing, because you don't know. You have no context to what the indie game does. It could be an amazing video game, and I bet I love it. When I play it, but I will never actually know until I play it. Well, it's an ASL game, so there you go. The teasers it's got for hand signing. The teasers for indie games are usually kind of lacking. So this is it. 
Don't you just want to play this, Bruce? No, but it could be great. It could be really fun and uh, really charming. Steph went to a lot of music shows when she was younger, so her hearing's not so great now. So, like, signing is a is a big deal for her. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, it's a musical. Again, it's one of those things where, like, right, like, like there's a deep sigh, but it could be really fun. This music doesn't sound good. It could be really fun. This music doesn't sound good. It's the most, like, boilerplate musical music. Which I guess if you're going to have a trailer... No, I'm not afraid of the unknown at all. I just said, oh. indie games don't show well in a trailer, because they don't. I'm sorry. They just don't. All I do is play... I play like... I'm constantly playing indie games on my stream. I love finding indie games. It's great. So where's the game? I think the game is the music part of it. Do you just like tap buttons with the song? or Probably. Man, this should have been a Kinect game, bro. Like... You do all the science? That'd Connect cool. is dead. Yeah, bro. big time, big time dead. Harmonium. Game Pass. Does that count? Yeah. That's right. a sip. That's a sip. Anytime Game Pass is mentioned. Honestly, I don't know how much better gaming can get. What happens past a golden age? Platinum? Is this the platinum age of gaming? Also, can I please be platinum paid in age? platinum? I'd like it direct deposited. Please. I don't know. Didn't we and just have a Game Awards show? What are you talking about, Twig? Did you watch the Game Awards show before us? Has it already aired? Did the we miss it? for best esports athlete mm. are Faker, Zywu, Faker Demon again, huh? Hydra, best esports athlete. Ruler, Wasn't Faker like huge Imperial ten Hound. years ago? How? And the Game Award goes to Faker. Faker. It's the one name anyone knows that votes on this stuff. I know how. Coach, <laughs> yeah. The nominees are. I don't Water. know the coaches. Oh yeah, they're Sonic, blowing through the esports awards. I don't know the coaches at all. They still have this shit. God Tommy. damn. There's no money in, in it anymore. I'm kind of surprised that Jeff hasn't started screening Water. out the esports shit. For best esports event, here mm, are the nominees. Um, 2023 League of Legends World e Championship. Uh, e uh, Evo or Valorant, Best right? It can't Paris be international Major this year. It was kind of Evo or Valorant. Evo it's got to be Evo. Evo, yeah. Everyone's going to vote for Evo. Or, or Dota 2 Worlds? League of Legends? And... Valorant Champions 2020. Gotta be Evo, right? And the game Probably award Evo. goes to it's Sony. Hey, League of yeah, Legends. Oh, oh, right. The people don't fuck. <laughs> the people who vote on this shit have game, no the clue. They're not following that at all. That's the sports game. That a tell League of Legends. It's gonna be CS2. League of it has to be CS2. It's new. Yeah, it's gotta be CS2. And what else could it be? And the game award goes to. Oh. Oh wow. My bad. Okay. Wow, imagine getting dunked on by the game that inspired Fnatic, you. Yeah. Yeah. Gaming Gladiators, JD Gaming, and Team Vitality. Evil Genius is still doing and the it, game huh? Award goes to JD Gaming. On what grounds? Wow, that's kind of Here's a weird. Justify your vote. It's kind of a I'm weird uh, pick, JD Gaming. Never even, yeah. Just like my father and his father before him. We Goodmans are a huge esports family, dating all the way back to the mid. -1800s. My grandfather watches esports. But you can Valorant has the worst that, gunplay of any game ever created. Ever, First someone up, it's said. The latest game from a team that won. Hey, I, I can't. Back in I can't argue. It's so it's correct. I, <laughs> this I never played Liverpool. one second of Valorant. Oh. This inside game's out of touch. I am. I will happily be out of touch with anything esports related. Over and over, we are out of touch. Pick apart. Why are you even here? If no, it was, it was a joke. Oh, okay. As long I as think it was a joke. Okay, you know what? It's a Skinner meme. Am I out of touch? No. No, it's the children it's who the have children. that. the children. As long as it's a joke. It's a joke. What do you think, Lawrence? It's, uh... Oh, Creators I mean, of Dead Cells. That's yeah, good. But it's furries, man. I'm... Is that an axolotl? It oh, it's been. 3D. Okay. Hmm. This, oh, see, it's again, like co-op Hades. Okay, see, this could be really fun. Like I'm looking forward to this, but I but the teaser doesn't doesn't. I'm like oh, like I don't. I'm not exploding. I'm just kind of like oh, all right. You don't want to be an animal. It's a video game, yeah. Cool cyber bunny. You don't want to be a bat with like a uh, ear piercing. Again, like it looks like it could be fun. Yeah, co-op melee boss fights. I mean, it's. Seems like a faster 2D monster hunter. And the people who made dead cells, that's a good sign. Still, I think my my social uh, estimation of the show is accurate, which is that the big reveals are not going to be here anymore. And then you get a lot of 
a lot of indie things. We'll see once the, the, this the actual, is the pre-show. This is the pre-show. This is the pre-show. All right, this is the pre-show. So you get a little Tron disc on your back. Hmm. Do you want to be windblown? I mean, it might be fun. You never know. You never know. You never know. Oh, I do like Thumper. I'm okay with like intensely psychedelic music games. Damn it, it's <laughs> fucking VR. Never mind. Of course you are. <sighs> Will I plug in the Valve Index for whatever the hell this is? <laughs> God. Well, I mean, you're going to eat a brownie. Yeah. Plug in the Valve Index. And then eat like four gummies and then. And then Lawrence will stream for nine hours. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, that's, that's accurate. I'm into this. I like res. Oh. Okay. All right. This does look like Thumper a lot. Hmm. So you just like swipe around after it? That's, what, that's how you play the game? It's a fetus. And you gotta beat up the demon embryo? I've been wanting to beat up kids for a long time. Okay. All right. Thrasher? Okay. Lawrence will definitely play that high. 100% he'll play that high. Yeah. Thrasher, in case you didn't know, is from the same artist slash composer that blew our minds back in 2016 with the cult hit Thumper. Play I'm Thumper? so excited we've got another I don't know that I ever did, actually, no. coming from him I like in 2024. It. It's, uh, Special shout it's out to very Samsung and musical. Samsung Gaming oh, uh, Hub. In a nerdy brag, way. I know, I know of it, and I like, have seen other people play it. I just haven't played it. Over at Samsung's New York City flagship location with typical gamer and Chica. I wish I could be at two places at once, but the last time I tried to clone myself, I sparked a pretty sizable fire in the MIT Experimental Physics Lab. Oops, but we can talk about that later. Let's check out what Samsung <laughs> is coming We need the uh, rim shots. <laughs> at least oh. there wasn't a uh, Game Pass. Game there pass. wasn't like a pause for applause, though. It was good. We could have written the script, Bruce. We could have uh, been giving Sydney all the jokes. Easily. I don't know, that can go the wrong way. I wrote, a, I wrote for an Xbox. Uh, thing once and I put in a bunch of like edgy jokes, but none of the hosts were really like that kind of <laughs> That kind of delivery <laughs> So yeah, and how did it go? Mm. Oh, okay. Not very well. I do remember seeing the chat once of like there are too many jokes I remember but but my instruction was to go go over Like to put in as many as I possibly could and then and then like we can tweet it back later So I did my job I gave them all the jokes. This is one of my favorite things that people say as we talk about Thumper and uh, 10 people in chat say, you guys played Thumper at Funhouse. We did? Do you mean seven years ago? When we were drunk or some shit? Yeah, were we in that? I don't give two, two shits. One of my favorites is when like there's a video that uh, I wasn't in and had nothing to do with. And it's like, you played you don't remember that. And I <laughs> yeah, it happened like next door while I was having a breakdown. <laughs> <laughs> No wonder I don't remember it. No, I definitely 100% do not remember it. Also, most of the time I was sitting in the back. I wasn't playing the game at all. So. Do you think they're going to edit out the shooting the themselves in the head all the time? A time Who? Persona? Yeah, the characters in this game. Next. Oh, That's how you summon your Persona. You blast yourself in the fucking head. Attack anyone who roams free outside the they're not showing any footage of that. It's our job Why not? KYS? Huh? <laughs> I don't lie to yourself. Persona. Angry drunk. I'm not even anywhere close to drunk. Oh, yeah, we'll get there. Don't worry. This is just the pre show, baby. All right, guys. This is, my, this is my favorite part of the whole. Wait, there's a dog? Why, do you try to Why is there a dog? You know I don't remember there being a dog in P3. In fact, chat. What? Where's the dog? Where's the dog? <laughs> what are you talking about? What's you didn't play Persona, dude. I, mean, I played it, but I, I, I only played like six hours of it. <laughs> what was that for? I don't know. Forgot Konomaru? I guess I forgot Koromaru. Whatever. I played that game 50. Years ago, I don't know. Fuck, Long time. jeez. No, well, you got to do what it says. <laughs> All right, this is gonna be. Oh, I don't yes, know. I was hoping for a new persona, a new persona game. That is, I still want to be Sydney. But enough about me. I can't Make sure to stay tuned That's as right, Google right, and the good. Samsung are Galaxy me. Z Fold 5 are bringing Absolutely. a spectacular this is good. celebration no, is right. of mobile gaming. What? It's going oh, to be wait, an no, epic I, event I, I just like this the, next world premiere. The message. It's the product of a surprise oh, yeah, yeah. team up between this good. two yeah, just nominated do this, games tonight. And then we'll Let's just go ahead out. and do that. Ah, oh, you got you to gotta, you gotta have a, a, a slight hand, Bruce. 
Well, the best part is they don't even know. They're just gone. Aww. They just disappear. That's the best part. Is there an expansion for... Oh, no. Oh, Dave the Diver. Diver. Wait, is it a dredge crossover, you think? Oh, that'd be amazing if it was, actually. Maybe I misunderstood. Yeah, oh, sorry. I thought that was, like, dredge footage. I think it's just, like, a... Like you said, an expansion to Dave the Diver. There you go. It is a dredge crossover. Fun. That's actually really cool. I am all about this They're, era of like crossovers and stuff. Well, indie games like uh, I think Lethal Company is going to do a crossover over soon with a month, which is super oh, yeah. awesome. Yeah, yeah, which is uh, rad. Vampire Survivors is doing a crossover with a month. That's right. I saw that too. Yeah, yeah. Iron Mouse. I don't know why we're not. People make games. Oh, this is we were guessing this. Yeah. People make games is I think the only one that most of the voting audience is going to know. I think you're. I think you're right. The game award goes to Focus. Focus. Iron Mouse. Oh, it's Iron oh. Mouse. That's great, actually. So, Fucking awesome. Iron Mouse right can't on. be here tonight because Iron Mouse is Big animated, fan of and sadly, we're not in the Matrix yet. But she did send us a message. Take Big it away, Iron that. Mouse. I am so incredibly honored to have been the recipient of the Content Creator of the Imagine. Year Award. First going back in time I and showing showing young Bruce who's watching the 2013 like, Spike VGX. What the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, no, I would I would for sure not believe you. An anime won a best Thanks anything? Thanks to Vishojo who brings all my ideas to life. Thank you so much to my team that helps me every single day. So what's the Iron Mouse magic? So why did, the why did they Wars. win creator of the year? I still can't believe this is all happening. Um, Thank you again, everybody. Iron Mouse and like Vishojo in general are kind of blowing up, but like they've just been Iron doing... Mouse. VTuber okay, stuff for a very long so time. So. The big okay. show, but I'm and they're great, honestly. Go, like, I don't know if you watch any of their, uh, any of their creators, but they're order, pretty amazing. And they're also um, like just incredibly nice people. A very special world premiere, 15 years world in the making. premiere. They can't say that. Jeff said there were no world premieres. World premiere. No, World of Goo? World of Two. <laughs> world of Goo Two? Yeah. World of Goo was like the only game I had to play on my Switch for the first like six months. All right, World of Goo 2, everybody. World of Goo 2. World of Goo 2! Oh, 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 yeah, we know it's another indie game again. Wow. It's back. It looks identical to World of Goo. Again, it could be really fun, but the, but the teaser itself is not going to get me excited, so... <laughs> World of Goo 2 live at the Sphere. <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks, you've been waiting for it. We haven't started the Game like Awards show proper. We got some, we got some like liquid simulation there. That was kind of cool. You had to like make a wall so the goo would flow in the right spot. Fifteen years since the first World of Goo. That doesn't sound right. I've been joking about it being fifteen years since things, and I think, I think it's rotted my brain. <laughs> what time is it? What time is it? Guys, the Game Awards hasn't started yet. So if yeah. you're like, if you're like, boy, this is really boring. We haven't actually, this is just the pre-show. We haven't gotten into the Big Jeff world premieres. Yeah, he's saving the hitters for himself. The Big Jeff world premieres are going to be real big. Real big. World of Goo 2. All right. So don't worry. It's just World a foreplay. World of Goo 2. Okay. Man, that is satisfying. Uh, the main show starts in like, Almost I want to say like five minutes probably. Game Award show that's I thought it should start away. now, right? It's five o'clock? One more huge well, Yeah, but they were a little premiere, late. A brand new fantasy RPG from the creators of Persona 3, 4, and 5. <laughs> and tonight they're giving us a glimpse into the story, <laughs> characters, and oh. gameplay. Let's do this. Of a new game? I... Game Pass. Oh, it's a story no. All right. about a world very different from ours. This is news. This is new, I guess. All people are equal and no conflict exists. Much like the world His Highness once dreamt of. To put it another way, this is a fantasy. You looking forward to this? Okay, all right, all right. Yeah, Atlas, Atlas, yeah, Atlas, Atlas. All right. It's so weird that Persona is like the name drop game now. It's a pretty big game. I guess that's what they got. That was open world. Xenoblade like Boy, they are shouting, huh? A lot of drama happening. 
land of proven strength. Mm -hmm. The people of my land are. They really keep not dropping those personas. And I shall provide. Welcome one and all to the inaugural. This will be fun. The tournament oh. for the This will be fun. Small right? Lawrence, you love Persona. You should be more excited than I am. Their speeches of tribal harmony mean nothing. When every day they Lawrence steampunk though. Us. So what? It's like it bio steampunk. Everyone in my chat says that steampunk is cool. Do they? Right, chat? Yeah. I mean, the UI is pretty sick. I mean, the UI is pretty precisely persona, but... Yeah. Yeah, I mean, cool. Look, see, steampunk is cool. Everybody says steampunk is cool. Meh. Steampunk is fine. Steampunk has come around. Steampunk never left. I mean, I like all the UI stuff. That's... Mm. Metaphor. Ray Fantasio. Okay. Okay, my friends, all right. that is it for our opening act. I'm glad that, <clears throat> I'm glad that a game got announced that wasn't a sequel or anything. That's what I'm glad. That's true. It's an original IP. Yeah. And I I'm grateful. Wait because this uh, show what character was your favorite? Stacked. We have tons of bigger And Fantasio. Ray Fantasio. Ray Fantasio. Uh, yeah. The one that killed a bunch of those cows of out in the states. desert. Oh, there were cows. Or whatever those were. The yeah. Gonzo. I, I have uh, to admit, mm. I'm freaking out. I'm completely starstruck. And get this, the cast of the show, based on the Fallout franchise, is here to debut an exclusive <sighs> The one with the ears. The Thank you. Thank you, Digital. Yeah, the one with the ears. That's right, the Fallout show. Oh, man. Okay. Wait, what are you talking Thank about? Thank you all oh, yeah, for she going was on talking about how Oh, the Amazon show? The are you not looking Amazon forward to the Fallout show? No. Oh, oh I'm looking forward to the Fallout show. Why? I mean, it's, I know it's not going to be good, but... What I, story inside of Fallout do you remember being good? I mean, I don't. But the thing is, is that it'll be fun to see. I'll be like, oh, fun! But I know it'll be good television. Oh, it's aesthetic. Welcome it's fun, to the Game Awards yeah. 2023. Here he is. All right. Let's now, see those shoes, Jeff. Host, the creator of the Game Awards, Jeff Keeley. Damn it. I need another beer. Oh, Can he's... Grab another beer. He's, he's pretty reserved this year. Can grab another beer. He's not, he's not like new tech bro. I'm a cool guy anymore. He's wearing a full-on suit. Hey, Al Numa's there. I'm sure he'll win an award. Oh, look at this. Good I love people everyone. showing their true Welcome colors in the, the chat. Game look at this Awards. little purple velvet. I know. He looks great. Jeff, 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 is Jeff. Our tenth there we TGA, go. A global celebration. See you video never. Games, and boy, do we have a show <laughs> I love it. For you. Show me, so guys, show me your true started. colors in the Inside together, Games chat. Do it. We are going to recognize it. outstanding creative work. You guys are in trouble because Jeff or because Bruce is, is on the mouse right now. Oh man, I love it. I let all kinds of things fly. Bruce, no, no, no. Bruce is zero Get that shit out of here. I'm tired of it. This is a show All right. about is he going to acknowledge? Together okay, so this was a potential shock rule. It's some vague acknowledgement of Don't unease and unrest, of on. world events, it's yeah, or of all the layoffs and stuff like that. But he can't say anything, right? It just has to be like very vague, like, game. oh, things are bad out there, but we gotta now we need gaming more than ever. Great games comfort us, help us understand different perspectives on the world. What about the layoffs, and Maybe yeah. even change us. That's what makes this medium different. Games. The actual things we play are insanely special, and we're going to celebrate that for the next few Jeff. hours. <laughs> and we've got such that an amazing group ableist. of people with us. They're built gotcha. by talented creators and teams, and many of them are right, here tonight. Mr. Anuma, Mr. Fujibayashi, great to Guys, see really? you back after winning what? Game Awkward. of the Year in 2017. What? What happened? He's just like straight up calling out people in the audience. Good Why did they put the tonight? guy in plate mail behind Anuma? Well, now I know, actually. <laughs> One of our industry's greatest creative <laughs> right. technical forces, Mark Cerny, PlayStation's Layoff of the year. system architect. <laughs> wow, he, oh, Mac! He was like, he was into the games. camera before they even cut Thank to him. He knew what the deal here, was. Mac! Of course, the team behind Pizza Towers here, too. Oh, we got the indie cred then. There they are. Yep, they look like they developed Pizza Tower, all right. <laughs> Everyone's here. <laughs> Performance Where's Joe McHale? 2017 for Hellblade. Welcome. I think we'll be oh. seeing you a little bit later tonight. Oh, okay. Are we going to get to see some Hellblade later tonight? Good. Game Pass. And we are also honored to be joined by the Tujimoto family, Haru and Ryozo, who are celebrating 40 years of Capcom this year and a Game of the Year nomination we clap for, for that? Resident Evil. They're like Welcome, guys. It's so great to have you with us. Now we have a big okay, show. Okay, we shout it out. So let's get right. Imagine into not it. being in the to shout out list at the top of the show. Oh, what a what a what is disrespected. Please yeah. join me Snub. in welcoming back to the Game Awards. Yep, we're gonna do it. The actor behind Kratos, 
God yeah, he like he memed on how long this guy talks. Jones. Yeah, he did. All right, well that's a good time for a beer. Yeah, no go grab a beer. Respect for where, where? Go grab a beer. Lawrence, go grab a beer. <laughs> love you, Christopher Judge. We love oh, you. What a Don't call. worry, he's not going to talk longer than last year. Good evening, everybody. He doesn't count as an awkward celebrity, but I will drink. I will take a sip just for fun. It is such a pleasure to be back here. I have such great memories of last year, Mr. Pacino, forgetting to thank my wife. <laughs> oh, they're playing him off, guys! Ha ha ha! Ha 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 ha! Lawrence is missing this. Lawrence is missing this top all right, shelf all right. comedy. I get it. Uh, he, he, ju he just gonna, started talking and then they played the music to pretend like they played him off. Stick Don't worry, it wasn't very funny. God. No Jeff's got to own every like meme, huh? Year. That's how you but do it, though, fact, I guess. My speech was actually <laughs> longer than this year's Call of Duty campaign. Oh, wow, we got some roasts. Burning Call of Duty. Okay. Some roasts. Right, well, I'm fine with that. <laughs> That's kind of like... I don't know. <laughs> what? That's fun and all. Like they want to be like oh, the Oscars, right? Like oh, I get yeah, it. Yeah. But also, uh, <clears throat> you really did just shit on like hundreds of people. I'm here to present. <laughs> I mean, it's the, the same with when people shit on movies. Same deal. Yeah. Yeah. In a year of games, beloved by. But roasts have to be like an insult and, and a compliment at the same time. Well, they're also usually done These by professional comedians, delivered. and Christopher Judge is not Six a professional comedian. So this reminds me of. Uh, I went to a Dice Awards. And where they the tried to get extra spicy and it just came off it didn't come off right yeah i don't think the, i don't think gaming is ready for that level of like self-roasting years hope may feel beyond our grasp you play grown-up games you face grown-up consequences maybe they shouldn't have made a short game uh making a short game does not indicate quality at all yeah a lot of call of duty campaigns are pretty short i'm playing through them again think of the titanfall 2 campaign Hero here. Also, everyone's cool with it. That's the fun part. No one gives a shit because right. the multiplayer is, according to people, pretty good. good. Yeah. Melanie did Jeff a great job in Alan Wake okay 2. She did. Yeah. I was like to, the yeah. previous stuff. I was a little middling on her performance, but she actually was amazing. It's not gonna be Yuri, right? And I dare you. It's not gonna be Cameron. I double dare you to it's try probably to gonna break be Yuri. My whack you think it's gonna be Neil Newbon? Then wait, it can't be a guy. It can't be a dude. Oh no, you're right. It's gotta be Alan Wake 2. Alan Wake 2. It's gotta be Alan Wake 2. Neil Newbar. Oh, I'm telling you, Baldur's Gate's gonna sweep the entire night. Oh God, you're Baldur's right. Baldur's Gate's gonna sweep the whole night. You're right. You're right. You're right. I'm actually really surprised that it's not Alan Wake too. But it, I kind of. But now we know that this is this is what's gonna happen. So. Look at this, another dude on stage. <laughs> Jeff's gonna take shit for that yeah, on Kotaku. God. Makes my stomach royal. <laughs> well, Kotaku doesn't do that anymore. That's true. They you're tossed right. out all the writers. Hi. That's the problem with with like game awards, though. I remember running into this at Machinima. Uh, it's like if there's a game that hits unreal. every capacity, uh, that makes it the say, game I don't of the year. Much time. Um, Why wouldn't it also win every like <laughs> yeah. contr other, contributing other, category? Yeah, yeah, yeah category exactly. Uh, it so has close. to have the Thank best so performances. It has much, to have the best voted. score. It has to have like, the best writing. Uh, fellow actors, the nominees, unbelievable I mean, talent. again, to be even don't get us wrong. Amongst you is, is he does an amazing so job. Much. He's like fantastic. So like Larry, all of the characters in Baldur's Gate 3 are fantastic. Writer of Astarian, uh, to, I'm going to forget everybody. Uh, to uh, Pit Stop, who worked so hard, the directors, my fellow yeah, films, actors, the same way. Mm -hmm. It's true. Incredible actors. That That's kind of... Soul. Uh, to me, familiar. I take Gracias. slight exep exception to like the best direction Gracias. award Gracias. in gaming because most people don't and know at all what my agents, directing a project like sorry. this is like. I'm going to wrap it up apparently. One thing I will say, oh, please, them off? that's okay. Yeah. The community has reached out to so many of us at Larian and said they were seen and they were represented by this game. He's yeah, crying already. Hope. I love it. They felt isolated. They felt alone. Wow, he and went this from game brought them happy to crying and like gave them something 10 seconds flat. Through to help them all it's and the to TikTok you i want to say thank awards. you so much for seeing us <laughs> give us the full emotional gamut so i think that i honestly i feel like that None sets the tone for you. what we're what we're going to see tonight but i could be wrong i think you're right uh i i i may be underestimating how much Baldur's gate 3 is going to sweep everything because that's the exact kind of game that people want to vote for 
I mean, it's, it's indie, right? It's a, yeah, yeah. It's a breakout success. He does seem sweet. It's true. All the all the Baldur's Gate three uh, voice actors, or I guess performance actors, just seem great. They just seem like fantastic people who are really surprised. New spontaneous rule: a sip every time Baldur's Gate wins something. Renaissance man. Please welcome Academy Award winning actor and New York Times best-selling author. Matthew McConaughey. Oh, that's an awkward celebrity. Is this gonna be? Well, is he gonna be awkward though? Mm. He's not gonna be awkward because he's never awkward. Yeah, but yeah, still, yeah, why yeah. the fuck is he here? That's gotta be a shot. I'll do a shot. I'll do a shot with yeah. you. Thank y'all for having me. All right. All right. All right. All right. Good to be here. What's up, everybody? Good to be here with you at the I game. Nobody didn't Award. dress up. Is he gonna? Now he's got to have an energy out, drink, right? I was going to say right? the line that has preceded <laughs> me on my career. All right, all right, all right. But they there told go. me. Oh, yeah, they got to do it. Said, no, no, but no, he did it the right way. That. Well, of Come course, that's because he was he's the one that popularized yeah. it. Yeah. The, that's so much like right, more natural the way to own the that, meme than the, the judge thing. I'm here tonight oh, because I have a world premiere for you. from World premiere? This guy, he's hitting all. He's hitting all. said over and over they weren't going to have world premiere. Every cylinder firing on McConaughey right now. The video game that I'm premiering is the first ever video game. That I'm a part of. <gasps> what? Now that you're playing a video game, the Vin Diesel eat shit. <laughs> excited about the, the Wheel Mark Man 2 World, starring really Matthew McConaughey. On Damn, cheers. To McConaughey's abs. And my role in it. I will be voicing a character in this game. <laughs> and all I can say is that I will have a unique relationship <sighs> with every player. Ooh. In this game, <laughs> time, <coughs> time moves differently. Is this Judas? Days for you no. are decades for your loved ones back home. Oh, it's not an interstellar made, game. It's no way. There's no way. There's no way. It's a Netflix love, interstellar. There's no way. There's an interstellar video game. No way. Please. It's a Netflix no way. motherfucking interstellar game. Now, personally, I have had. Please tell me it's not an interstellar video game. There's no way that no one approved this. What's gonna? What if it's F and B? There's no way. Hi, so I'm Matthew I'm McConaughey. Proud to share the first ever look at Exodus. I okay. knew it. I knew it. There's no way. All right. No, but, this but is, clearly that's what it's, it is. It's, right? it's, it's inspired by Interstellar, but Nolan will never ever approve it. Max, do you think the U back. is going to be an inverted like triangle? Hold on. Let's see what. Because every space game needs that? this. Yeah. What shape part of in, the Exodus title? Oh, the X. The X is going to be changed to. It's got to be the A, right? The vaulted A with no, no flip in the middle. I mean, there's a lot of them right there. What she found that day. This is pretty miracle. dope, though. I I'm think. looking forward to playing it. I mean, yeah. It would be our salvation. To fight against the celestials. Aliens? The Celestials? This is Mass Effect, eh? Enemy. This is it. Yeah, like their armor is all... They found us. Lady. Transformers, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Stay down. This reminds me of two human. The Celestials. Also, I really wish they would show gameplay, but they're not going to. Yeah, so. no, there's no gameplay. They keep chasing us until they ripped our Not at all apart. familiar, no. And I had to save her. Any I've I've said this before, but any trailer that's like a cinematic trailer for a video game, put your hand on I don't give two fucks about. Like it doesn't it never matters to me because it's not the gameplay. And I really want to see the gameplay. Yeah, there was a there was a time when when like aesthetic and trapping was everything. That's right. Because yeah, and I was so glitzed, but I couldn't stand it. I, I like same shot. Man. Watching the Star Wars: The Old Republic trailers, like that bothered me so much because I was like, well, it's cool, but it's not the game. Yeah, they were they were pretty dope though, huh? That fight in the in the woods. That was awesome. Yeah, again, it was a great trailer. Pretty, like top ten Jedi battle, really. Well, it's been diluted a bit since then. Which one is Matthew McConaughey, by the way? I love you. I think he's got the cheekbones. Look at that, he's crying at a recording in space. Remember that from Interstellar? Yes, I do, yes. And his daughter, remember? What if we could make a game that made you cry like Interstellar? <laughs> Wouldn't that win Game Awards? Huh? Breaks empires. I really hope Matthew McConaughey plugs an energy drink we before he leaves the stage. The travelers. I like the news. <laughs> you said Imagine Dragons. We did. <laughs> I should have had the AI Homer singing. This. Okay, this is actual gameplay, by the way. This is this looks cool. It's Mass Effect, bro. It is Mass Effect. You're you have your like right. power fist, and you have. Yeah, guns. you're totally right. You're 100. percent Which it's not a. That's not bad. Oh well, like, yeah, but it's if there. Bioware's not going to make it, somebody ought to. You're for sure. You're <laughs> totally right, Lawrence. That is a very exciting project. I appreciate. By the way, vibes, appreciate they appreciate did a cinematic the the trailer and then gameplay. also showed gameplay. Uh, yeah, yeah, like there. 10 seconds. Looks great. I'm fine with that. Now we're going to go right on to another world premiere.
You said they weren't going to do that. You said you weren't going to do world premieres. Playing with my. Oh, what remake have we got now? Bloodborne? No. Never mind. Oh, I think I know what this one is. You do. Lawrence knows what it is already. We've been waiting to see what Housemark is up to. Lawrence is always right. This looks really Housemarky, right? Oh, is this the. Wait a minute. Is this the thing that I you maybe. know about? You, I think you know about it. Never mind. Oh, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> That's... I mean, good. Good. Yes. Studios are making things. Oh, I like it. That would help us. Is this a... Is this a DLC? Yeah, yeah. DLC, right? Is it right? It has to be. There's no crate. Or there's no Atreus. Tell me about that. Why exactly... We got Mimir, though. Eh? Is it, is it just Kratos? Uh, prequel? No shame in what you, just you finished uh, Ragnarok, right? Cross. Yeah. I didn't finish it, Let's so. Let's go again. Huh. Gosh, what a great video game. Oh, he's, oh, he's got the spear. What a, what a fucking great video game. Ragnarok? I'm, I don't know. I, 2018 is like a Hall of Famer for me. Ragnarok was overstuffed. Oh, interesting. Okay. I think they... Huh. Okay. Oh, there's there it is. We were looking for it. What a what a great video game. I'm gonna be honest with you. The people that make these games just they should be uh, celebrated. That's in like that's coming up in free Bruce five days free <laughs> DLC. <laughs> oh shit! I'll drink that. That's rad. Yeah, I'm I'm into that. Solid from Sony. Love it. Good for them. Sony's usually nickel and diamond. Yeah, they had to charge me ten dollars for that shit. Surprise from PlayStation. Uh, conspiratorial. Are headed to Valhalla Theory. And Ragnarok didn't sell them out. So they're juicing it with some free deals. I kind of agree with you on that one. By the roguelike genre it it kind of didn't. Like, the numbers on Ragnarok were not... I kind of agree. Like, Lawrence is, I think, absolutely saw, right. I don't, I don't want to talk about that, but I think you're right. I mean, that's a that's good, though. That's Sony doing the right thing. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. But, but what's what's God great, and I, I hope that people appreciate this, is that the growing trend and CD Projekt almost established this with Witcher 3, is that if you release a single-player game, you can keep pumping content into it and Amazing. that will like elevate your game right, above so everyone else. Yeah. yeah. Our next That's how you get to 30 million sales over five years. DLC Australia. could be like two hours or something, but still free. Yeah, who cares? It's free. Creators. I'm down. I, I kind of want to, like, Ragnarok had a not very satisfying conclusion point, which is fine. It's an ongoing series. I'm okay with that. But. Man, we thought Sony would be a, a no show. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, bum, bum. Have we heard the Game Awards theme? No, not at all. Not even once. From the Game Awards orchestra? I don't think he has the orchestra. No. Well, I thought he did, but well, this year, nobody he has a uh, Poets of the Fall performing. No one in chat can actually hum the theme, right? Game Awards. Game oh, Awards. <laughs> I'm gonna go get a Gatorade, hold on. Yeah, go for it. Let's go. That's gay. Kind of reminds me of Ooblets a little bit. All right, guys, it's just us. Hey, YouTube chat, uh, Bruce has been on the warpath, you know? I'm not, I'm not mean. Hello. You can yell at me if you want. I can take it. I got a thick skin. Nobody's getting banned while Bruce is out of the room. That's my promise. What? Nothing. He's back. He's back, everybody. What'd you say? Nothing. I heard my name. Nah, we're good. <laughs> nah, we're good. It's just it's over now. What? <sighs> this is some Jonathan Blow shit going on. Right <laughs> now. Are you excited about this? What's Jonathan Blow up to? You know he's got something cooking. I mean, Braid Two probably. Oh yeah, we need a Braid Two. We got a Brothers remake. Super fun, right? I can't. I did a play test of that I, game about a year ago. Yes. And had so We've seen so fun. many games, and I feel like I know what 10% of them are yes. in terms of the buttons I'll hit. Super right, fun. Well, yes, Jeff. TGA, Super fun. Head to TGA Steam Deck.com right now. We're doing a. By the way, they're giving, oh, yeah, they're giving away a lot of. They're giving away 100 the Steam Decks, which is pretty fucking rad. Gonna be, I'm going to be honest with you. HDR pretty fucking rad. Absolutely. Enter now I've, only during the I've been a little grumpy towards Valve. But since the Steam Deck, I can't argue that, like, they really are doing. Getting a lot of interesting work in so making the PC scene game announcements, very awards, vibrant. And True. Musical performances ahead, the Steam Deck is such a such a great Asgard device, and Alan also Wake targets too. exactly what PC is good at. What a shill! <laughs> what a fucking right shill! Now, if you want to buy our channel.
Oh, God, I can't sign the paperwork fast enough. <laughs> oh, Ubisoft, all right. Prince of Persia. Yeah, he's prince. doing the like the millennial fly. I love oh, that shit. Oh. I corked it. What was that? Oh, the so you knocked over the entire bottle of vodka. It, it was corked. Oh, okay. Everything's fine. Bring him back. I love how they gave the prince a back my son. the zennial high fade. Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> he's got some it's righteous strange. nipples though. Those are powerful yes. nips. I feel like oh, give away sight for the. The dex has been crashed. Oof. I believe that. It's just, it's, to me, it's hyper cool that somebody can buy a gaming PC. I agree. Like, all in one gaming PC for 400 bucks. And it's also handheld. Yeah. Like, that's awesome. Yeah. Perfect point of entry. And and for the right kind of PC user, they can get that thing and just, like, run with it. Yeah. You put in a keyboard, you put in a, a display, you got a cool PC. You can do whatever you want with it. It's so good. It's so good. That's ex I would have killed for that when I was, like, 15. Access to all those weird, quirky PC games like Lethal enough? Company. That's, right, yeah. that's that's right in the middle friend. of the dark world of what PC is so good at. I'll do whatever it takes. Where's Jake Gyllenhaal? Yeah, where is Jake? I need Jake. I need Jake Gyllenhaal playing the Prince of Persia. He got outrageously beefed for that movie. He did. Yeah. Man, he was he was thick as fuck. I don't understand. The only Prince of Persia I know. <laughs> It's Jake, Jake Gyllenhaal. Gyllenhaal. Where, where's Jake? We're clamoring for Jake. Oh, it had an actual date on it. That's nice. A demo on January 11th? Lawrence, you and I should probably play this, actually. So, you know what it is, right? Lego World? Lego Fortnite, but also it's like survival crafting. Hey. God. It kind of looks fun. It kind of looks fun. Does it? It does. It really does. Oh, they're hitting trees. Wow. Oh, right to a tree. Please, God, design a game that's more about hitting... <laughs> about more than hitting rocks and trees. <laughs> All right. Okay. That's the exact thing that's been in every other game. Look, a lot of people say it's fun. I'm just begging you to make games that aren't about reliving caveman fantasies. That's all it is, man. It's just tickling our DNA. We yeah. just want a place to sleep with some food. Of course, I know. This is a weird song. It is, it is a weird song to pick for this. It's so this specific, yeah. I think it's for the... The boomers in the room? No. No way. No boomers are playing Fortnite? Well, for the music, though, that's what gets you. Yeah, but... I feel like... Oh, that's fun. Millennials like a, definitely know. A locked, off, a locked off shot of a Lego person? That was a fun. That was fun. Millennials definitely know Journey. Yeah, because, because of, like, the 2014 memes. Well, they, know, they also know Family Guy. Mm. Remember when everyone was about Africa's Toto? Or Toto's Africa? <laughs> yes, Africa? yeah, I do. That was a weird, that was a weird phase. I was, I was kind of hoping that would lead to, like, this new renaissance of uh, Dave Matthews world music. Ugh. He didn't quite. Dave Matthews? You're not about that? Get that shit out of here. You don't like Remember the, when they dumped a bunch the of healing their... healing energy of music? Remember when they dumped a, dumped a bunch of their fucking waste on, uh, over, uh, like, off a bridge? Yeah. Good for them. Where else are they going to put it? <laughs> Dave Matthews sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I I thought they sucked long before they ever Please dumped their waste off a, a bridge. Former Game Award winner for best performance, Ninja Theory's Melina Jurgen. So they're presenting an award, which means they're probably not at the show, though. Can you present an award and also have a promotional trailer Performing in the show? Performing an original piece from our upcoming game, oh, no, you're Senua right. Saga Hellblade 2. I'm proud to introduce to you to one of my favorite bands, Heilung. Huh. Okay. All right. We got a musical tribute to Hellblade 2. Hmm. This is not a shot. Hmm. This is theatric. No, Dave Matthews sucks. Sorry. Eat shit. This is some Dave Matthews shit, though. Am I wrong? Look at this. I mean, yeah, you're definitely wrong. Dave Matthews is a bunch of fucking white dudes. South African, man. They're basically <laughs> black. <laughs> Just like Elon Musk. No. Is there a drinking rule for this? No. No. Only for Imagine Dragons. Oh yeah, that's right. So this is why the Game Awards Orchestra is not here. Like for real. 
Uh, that was a fixture before, but that was expensive as fuck. Can you imagine paying 40 people, yeah. 40 professional musicians night rate for one show? Shit. Yeah, it was it was straight up like a million dollar show in the past. I think I think he might be reeling it in a little bit. It's real fire on stage though. That's cool. <laughs> That's cool. I love I love fire. No, I did not forget the black guy and Dave Matthews. No, I did not forget that. I'm all about that sound. Give me more of that. This is, this is the exact opposite of Dave Matthews. Don't anyone delude yourself into thinking this is like Dave Matthews. It's not. I think it's like Dave Matthews. <laughs> it's not, though. It's You're not right. even anywhere close. Well, there's, there's some, like, drum circle shit coming up, right? A little bit? No. Dave Matthews is drink too much. Bump too much. <laughs> too much. No, it's not. Bow, 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 bow. That was so long ago, Bruce. He's been through worlds. He's been through journeys since then. <laughs> Healing uh, acoustic. Wow, what the fuck? All right. Yeah. Huh, that's a lot of smoke. So are we going to see the game, though? I wonder. No, I don't. They have the AE. In they, the still, they still won't show the actual fucking video game. It's not hard. Uh, apparently it is. Hellblade was just like, just beat up some fucking shit and solve some puzzles, man. Drink to Mo. They're Meryl, Meryl, Meryl. You guys How love can, Dave Matthews? How can Hellblade 2 know all their lyrics? I don't know all their lyrics. I'm humming. Meryl, Meryl, Meryl. I got bad at it. Pepkin, man, let's hit him my home ahead. Take me a chance. Pepkin, no hit him by the hole. Okay. It sounds like a auctioneer. Video game. Now we're doing it. Mm. Remember oh. the last time we saw Hellblade 2 and it was just a girl nice. staring into a puddle for like a minute? Was it like three years ago? <laughs> no, it was pretty recent, but oh, it was, was it? nothing. Uh, like she stared into a puddle. It went into puddle dimension. Okay. Is the game going to be an ultra wide? That would be pretty dope. I am all about game developers putting letter boxes on their shit to make it seem more, seem more like artful. I, I love that stuff. Skin. It's so pretentious, dude. Ugh, speaking of pretense, I love Ninja Theory, but holy fuck, <laughs> you guys have got to release a game. Lawrence, Lawrence absolutely hates these trailers. I, lo I love that. I love how much Lawrence hates these trailers. I won't stop fighting for them. This game had better be like forty hours long. <laughs> how else could it have taken us so walking through shit? Yeah. Also, honestly, like Hellblade should not have a sequel. It really shouldn't, because it kind of destroys the. The framing device. All right, here's some gameplay though. This looks like Rise. It does. You're right. But it's, it's there's like at least a little based. gameplay. Yeah. You, like you hit a button and then you parry, and that's like a minute long animation. And then you hit another button to dodge, and she like flops around. Imagine like X's and Y's prompts over everything. You want the truth. That was slow as fuck. Th those must be cutscenes. That can't be gameplay. And if it is. <laughs> One, two, one. I, the shadow will always I've been waiting to see more Hellblade 2 for a long time. Yeah, this is not... Uh, I mean, there's some good hallways to walk down. That is... Like, if you're hitting the buttons, that's slow as hell, dude. Yeah, that's true. It looks good, but... For real though, is the is the actual game gonna have the letterboxes the whole time? <laughs> what will I become? Are you that desperate to tell us that you're art? Oh man! It looks like maybe the uh, Order eighteen eighty six a little bit. We waited so long. Okay, a year. I I didn't wait at all. Uh, game Pass, by the way. When the fuck did Hell Hellblade had to be like what twenty yeah, yeah. eighteen? Six pass. years, Bruce. Game Pass, Game Pass, drink for the Game Pass. Game Pass. What the fuck? That wasn't enough for six years. Wait, too much. Too much. Uh, what an amazing uh, new uh, look uh, at the uh, gameplay uh, and world of Hellblade 2 coming in 2024. What is it about Xbox companies it's getting a 24? Game pass. It's a, it's a new video game that's award, big that come, comes out in 2024. I don't know why it didn't release in 2021. The creative director see. of NetherRealm Hellblade was 2017. It's Ed Boon. Love Ed Boon, man. What did they spend all that time doing? 
I wonder about that with Bethesda. What did you do for six years? Uh, made art. Hmm. Where did it go? Because it's not in the, the game. <laughs> we get lost in. Tonight's nominees for best narrative got us all in their drama, in their characters, and yes, sometimes in some weird stuff. Marvel we Spider-Man. Oh, yeah, why Insomniac Marvel Spider-Man. Why is Ed Boon presenting best narrative? Best because Mortal Kombat One should have been nominated. Don't, story, don't you dare. MK One was actually pretty good. It was fun, but it's not best narrative. One. I think it deserves it over a lot of other games in this category. What? It was campy. It was over fun. Baldur's Gate Three and it's Cyberpunk. So not over. No, Baldur's Gate Three or Cyberpunk. No, but, no. but over Spider-Man. Probably over Final Fantasy. It didn't have the best narrative, though. Spider-Man 2's narrative was balls, man. I mean, it was fun, but it was balls. Oi. All right. Is this going to win? BG3? It's got to be BG. It's got to be BG. Uh, look, the only award that... Alan Wake 2. Okay, all right, I was going to say, the only That's award the only that Alan Wake can win is this one. Writers love voting yeah. for writers. This is the only award that Alan Wake can win. Yeah, Lawrence and I predicted this on the drive down uh, downtown, so... It's valid. No. No. Baldur's Gate 3. I think interactive narratives deserve the award over non-interactive ah, okay. ones. All right. But it's still a Thank good narrative. So I think it's kind of like a Sam um, Lake catch-up. Okay. To be honest. Alan Wake to, from Sam, the Sam Lake's been putting in time, too. He's been doing the tours. Post. He's been posting on social. He really has, yeah. Us. I share this with the whole narrative team. The writers, uh, Clay, Tyler, Sinica. Narrative designers Honestly, the, this game is clearly made with a lot of a lot of Simone, love Colin, and care and detail. Uh, and uh, I mean, you finished it. I only played like six hours of it. Uh, and Hannah, Rosie, I loved what I played. Holly, so uh, all the wonderful actors here yeah, you tonight. Should, you should cycle back around and finish it up. Uh, I, I would love given to, your love uh, of TV, uh, I think yeah, you'll yeah, you'll I would love to. I would love to. Did you ever finish a quantum break? Wonderful actors. No, I never even played it. And, and the song Much more TV. Okay. Uh, yeah. That game, but it's custom good. music, custom songs to extend the. Wait, somebody story. said there was a Imagine yeah, Dragons. Later. Where? Of the Playing Lord in God's the background. Oscar, po, uh, <laughs> this road. You want to do a shot Every for that? I'll do a shot for that. Coming true from they're, music. they're probably gaslighting uh, us into taking a shot. Songs. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> We wanted to push. I'm looking at the chat. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting something. for validation. Lawrence is skeptical. It's a, it's a song from Alan Wake. Yeah. For you to I mean, I appreciate the gaslight. Understand it means so much. I'll Are you really gonna cow tow to chat right now? No, I'm just saying if it's Imagine Dragons, hey. we take a shot. We got to we got to shake hands with Steve earlier. Wait, who? There was oh, a Steve shot Saylor. of Steve Sailor. Steve Sailor. Was this the Facebook gaming? No, in Japan. Facebook wouldn't touch Japan. They don't care. Artist to stay. It wasn't a truck shot. Oh yeah, that, that was not a truck shot of a nope. of a developer doing art. The camera was not moving. Tragically. They want us to do a shot, Lawrence. What do you want to do? I want to do a shot. Let's do it. All right, all right. For me, not a full shot. Fair. A half. What was that for? You may have recognized Nothing. that incredible creator Don't who worry built about her it. own independent studio in Tokyo, uh, and she wanted to show you what she's been working on before she's even signed it with a publisher or a platform. Oh. I said, come to this show. Just show it to the audience and the fans first. Because she's not so that's a That's what we're going to do. We're honored to have her back <laughs> at the Game Awards. Please give a warm oh, welcome it's to Akumi Nakamura. Yep. 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 She did the little dance on stage. Dude. This is where gaming's at, is that if you do a cute little dance on stage, you get to come back four years later and promote your game for free. <laughs> How important is that? She Very important, clearly. The amazing gamer. Gaming is fully in the, like, <laughs> populism <laughs> politics <laughs> shit, but nobody knows it yet. Uh, Lawrence is pouring a shot for Imagine I'm Dragons, just so you know. To be on this stage you make me again. a, you make me a <laughs> drinker. <laughs> A drinker. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey! No, no one's rushed to stay. Not yet. <laughs> she gonna do the pose again? Cheers. And you, thank you, 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 all of you. <laughs> Man. Tokyo Ghostwire was pretty legit, though. It was. Your support <laughs> changed my life. <laughs> yeah. yeah, a little shake on that. <laughs> oh, she's doing a cute pose. Here comes the gifts. Today, I am honored to interview. Uh, that was a whole thing, man. Past. That's a real stretch for Imagine Dragons, but I'll do it. It's time to see the unseen. I like her robe. Does it have Bye. a zipper? 
She kind of she kind of did the. You would actually re, uh, look, oh, new look game. really okay. good in that robe. She's got some shit going on. All right, all right, all right. Ooh, I like the colors. Mm, this is a game of service. <laughs> Wait, how do you know? Because right there's, there's multiple characters. Yeah. Lawrence immediately knew. Hold on, hold on. Because like, look at their like visual language. It's a bunch of different like character types. This is gonna be amazing if Lawrence can oh, actually call this. I did the thing. Uh, if Lawrence calls, yeah, that you're this gonna is fight all those guys. You're gonna pick your fucking class and fight a yokai. I mean, uh, that's okay. Kamuri, all right, all right, all right. Lawrence, is that a games of service? Do she's we know? Look, she's looking for funding. So many That's why she's here, and of course she's pitching the exact kind of game that wants to get funded right now. You know what, Lars? I trust you. Mm, I trust you. Franchises. We don't know and that, but I trust you. It might be an FTP gotcha. That's that's a fair. That's a fair estimate. It felt like a free to play gotcha, but yeah, I don't actually know that it's a games of service. No booba though. There'd be there'd be mega tits if it was a private division. Skull and Bones, man. All right, like I really wanted to play Skull and Bones. There was actually like an alpha test a few months ago. It's not. I don't think it's. Skull no, and that's Bones, not what this is. Ooh, okay. I like, I like the style here. Ooh. Okay. I'm picking up these vibes. It's like metal colonialist. Steampunk is mm, what you're looking for. Not quite. <laughs> It's borderline. You though. love steampunk. Yeah, Just say it. you love I, it. Yeah, I love steampunk. You're right, I do. <laughs> kind of wild beasts. Oh, that's where you shoot. That's a weak point. You gotta love it when a demon crawls out of a diseased vagina. Okay, so this is an Xbox. Wait, no, Xbox doesn't own Loom, right? I have no idea. They never acquired them. They just published their game. This looks like gameplay, at least. That's something. Ah, uh, we got climbing. Love it. So they're holding off on the Elden Ring DLC till the very end. If we get any Elden Ring DLC, it's going to be at the very end. Because it would have been at the beginning of the show if they wanted to show at the beginning. Of it. But it's going to be at the end. Predicting the showstopper? Yeah, that, that's the very end. There's no way they're going to show it in the middle of the show. It looks almost like Vanillaware, some of that 2D art. Wait, what's Vanillaware? Uh, uh, like Dragon's Crown. Um, what the hell is Dragon's Crown? Muramasa, the Demon's Blade. What does that even mean? What does Vanillaware mean? Dude, look at that logo. That's sick. What does Vanillaware mean? Uh, it's a dev, man. They make uh, they make games with giant tits. Oh, okay. Big ass tits. I thought Vanillaware is like abandonware. Oh or no, 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 it's the name of the a studio. My bad. Action RPG from Moon Studios and more information that is pretty coming cool. March first, as you saw. With no, it's not Imagine Dragons. Showcase. You fucking so bitches. Awards, Might be Imagine Dragons. Viewers in the U.S. can enter to win Wait, one I'm of competing handheld Legion PC. Go you can win a Legion. Gaming PC in your hand. Well, do I want to win a Legion or a Steam Deck? What do I want to do? Of course, I'm a fucking normie. I'm glad I don't Here's know what fucking Vanillaware is. Yeah, no, uh, yeah. It, you wouldn't want to stream with two people who know what Vanillaware is. <laughs> I'm is, proud of that what shit. What is this, Easy Allies? Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, they're magnetic on that one. That's right. Game Pass. All right. There was a logo. Ooh. The best Remember Starfield? Really Remember? You all playing Starfield? You Do love you, it. A member? Exploring new worlds. If you uh, left a negative review, Bethesda responded to you. Please play Hi-Fi Rush. So much if, more to before you were allowed to complain about a video game on the internet, you should have to play through and finish Hi-Fi Rush. <laughs> and then go and be like, games are stupid, that's nobody's actually, making good actually, games anymore. You're right, you're kind of right about that, yeah. actually. I remember there was a there was like a, a rule on the something awful forums a million years ago where if you wanted to post in a particular forum, you had to preface your post with, I know this isn't as bad as being a Darfur war orphan, but then write the rest of it because people were tired of people complaining about dumb shit. I'm kind of the same way about the uh, vampire survivors. So if anybody's, the reason is because the game is five or three dollars or whatever. Yeah. So if anyone's like, I fucking hate like. This video game is trash, like it's garbage. I'm just like, just fucking play Vampires. It's three dollars. You'll play forty hours of it. You'll enjoy it. Just play that game first, then come and complain about Avatar or some shit. 
But who could possibly complain about Avatar? Nobody. Also, I don't have that fucking mount, and I need to be riding around and flying. Oh, can you fly? Yes, you can <gasps> fly and also ride a horse, dude. Wow. The game we've been waiting for. You have the map. I see you. you are sorry. This game is actually like, honestly, Lawrence, it's pretty fun. Technical feat, no quotes around that. It's pretty fun, Lawrence. I like how they put it in Avatar font, which is not papyrus. Yeah, I still don't fucking have. I don't have a horse either. Fantasy. Fuck. Are these quotes? Or are they just telling us what they? The RDA. Fantasy fulfillment. That is Fantasy death. fulfillment. Yeah. Entertaining. <laughs> Entertaining. That's all it says. Entertaining. Entertaining, says Game Informer. <laughs> Wait, what, was that a Halo rocket launcher? Frontiers uh, of So again, this game is fifteen dollars on Ubisoft Plus. Well, again, Bruce, so like imagine the the Ouroboros of somebody watching Avatar and accusing them of ripping off Halo, which ripped off James Cameron's Aliens. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, it's the it's the whole cycle. That was my favorite part about Avatar: is people accusing it of ripping off Halo. And they're like, uh, <laughs> Halo ripped off smarter. everything from James Cameron? Yeah. Begging you. So is this, uh, we're, we're goofing? Is this a Discord? Discord goofing. Discord actually just recently changed their, uh, that sound, their though. UI and I hate it. Yeah, it's, it's dark now. I like that it's darker. We have been saying it but, all night, but it really has been an outstanding year for gaming. And now to it's talk true, about it has. some of You're the right. biggest when you games, can acknowledge the it's a pleasure to welcome Palestinian from the Muppets, crisis, that's Jeff. right, the great Gonzo! Uh, 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 thank you. Well, probably not now, huh? Hey, Jeff. Gonzo, it's great to be here. Hello, how do you feel everybody. about that whole situation? Hey, buddy, thanks for uh, coming. Everybody in chat, do you guys I'm know who Gonzo is? Kind of wearing what I'm wearing? I know you do. Yeah, it's like looking He's in got a, mirror, a little Game Awards pin. Is this an awkward celeb? No. Oh, they had a little bit. Look at them. They did the thing. Oh, they're doing it again. So, Gonzo, so Gonzo what, have what have you been playing? playing? Seriously. All right, good. What Everybody knows playing? who Gonzo is. I just want to make sure. I'm so happy for Jeff. Hey, everybody, He's doing everybody. exactly what Gonzo's he does. Oh. He, he loves time. Muppets. Hey, He's doing some like Muppet man. Show shit. I love it. He loves Muppets. He loves Muppets. He loves. It's all right. What if the Game Awards Orchestra played the Muppet Show theme? Well, they're not there. Lots and lots of Guys, tears of the kingdom. Halo didn't rip off what everything from James game. Cameron. One you know facet of Halo was inspired by one facet of aliens. That's where the similarities end. Spent doing that. Yeah, you're Injected right. The rest is, is really, Robocop. You know, just there they go. Bye bye. Oh. You don't have to ask me. <laughs> Never <laughs> again. <laughs> Tossing them out for their oh, children. Yeah. No, that's it. Chicken, so See you later. Halo's mid, everyone. Hey, oh, I never get past that. This is a mission. good moment for healing. I keep restarting to see if <laughs> when I Starfield came out, everyone time. was like, "Oh, actually, Skyrim was pretty awesome. mid." Well, any Correct. Great gaming highlights. Now that we have good shooters, maybe we can go back and recognize actually, Halo have the pretty mid. Hey, you, you guys got a minute? But also, in like 2001, Halo was an amazing games. shooter. Yeah, All for people that hadn't played any shooter on the it's fine. It's fine. Check this out. It's just a. It's it's about. Oh, he brought his chicken. Got the case What's her forward? name? Yeah, well, that's quite I can't a remember. I don't remember the chicken's name at all. Gladys? I know, no. Eunice. I know. You probably no way. think I'm obsessed with chicken. Something like that. Can't appreciate video games beyond this Cheryl? One very specific Camilla, character. thank you. There you go. I mean, yeah. Oh, yeah, I the case board. Oh, uh, the uh, Ellen Wake 2 case board. 343 yeah. Films says Halo was so? not mid. <laughs> <laughs> They're not biased at all, Lawrence. Yes. The music was choice. I'll say the music's great. But Marty O'Donnell did make some South African Dave Matthews right, beats in those games. What? Best debut at this indie game. Best debut in the game. Halo 1 was pretty mid. Mid, you're out, you're out of your fucking mind. Halo 1 had a good level. Halo 1 revolutionized shooters on console. So, yeah. sorry. It did. It, that's true. It did, it did. I mean, like, there's just no arguing that. It, it, it absolutely did. It's Halo revolutionized shooters on console in the way that Blink-182 revolutionized punk rock. Absolutely. Yes, that's exactly right. Yeah. Yeah. There was the Pixies before that. Because, like, punk rock but, existed and was, like, right, thriving. Gonzo, but Blink-182, like, thrust it in the main The yeah. Game Award goes to... Mm, cocoon? Cocoon! Yeah. Now available on Game Pass, go play it. Cocoon's really good. I watched Lawrence play Cocoon at Summer Game Fest. Yeah, and the devs were watching me, which was You were playing scary. well. I, it's a puzzle game. <laughs> as long as you don't get stuck, you're, you're acing it. You can buy Cocoon one. That was a good game. Uh, Pizza Tower was really good, though. Yeah. Uh-oh, Cocoon was mid. Uh-oh. Thank you so much. What? Uh, the the thing I just said, thrown back at me? 
<laughs> Everybody in chat. What do I do? They only know the word mid, so they're going to use the word mid. I love it because it's like mad. it's me, a millennial, yeah, trying to be relevant. And everyone at this speaking to uh, thank you Gen so much for Gen Zers trying to be relevant. But we all thank know you. that we're all irrelevant because Gen Alpha's out there. That's right. They're flipping through. They flipped through like 150 TikToks in the <laughs> amount of time that we've been arguing. They were honored to be. By the way, when you say awesome uh, bad take or um, worst take <laughs> or mid, <laughs> that's actually not an opinion, dude. I'm all about it. There's nothing back backing that opinion at all. So it's it's it. trash. It's garbage. Just I so should, you know. I want to be the Roger Ebert of movies. The best mobile game you mean of games? 2023. Yes. But which title are you <laughs> it's most taken, excited isn't it? He to was see the Roger Ebert of 2024? movies. Yeah. Google Play will be awarding the most anticipated title with right. their Play More Award most on Twitch. So head on L over take to Twitch Bruce. to lock Oof. your vote. Big L. I'll take it. Yeah, big L. I'll L's. take it. L's you you didn't support that with any evidence, but I'll take it. Oh, here's the human interest package. Games for impact. Whoa, look at that cool cyberpunk office they're in. Yeah, right? That's Sonic, baby. Sonic just farted in your face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is this the is this Virtual Fighter? This is this happening? Golden Axe, Crazy Taxi, it's all the it's all happening, Bruce! Sega! I don't care. Uh, Sega's announcing a fucking Sega's subscription. Sega's trash, right dude. Sega Plus, really? where you get access to all their fucking games. That's what that's what's happening. There's so many references to their properties in this shit. Don't, don't do it. Don't. <laughs> Please don't. Lawrence is threatening them. Shinobi, nobody cares. Don't do it. Oh, what the fuck? Oh. Ah. I kind of like. Oh wait, are they like putting? Wait, what? Hold on, hold on. What's happening, Bruce? What's happening? I don't know, Bruce. I'm not sure. Are they announcing like meta sites? They love Sonic or whatever. They're, I think they're remaking all of their games. No, did Sega do a remake sweep? <laughs> a remake sweep? Oh my gosh! Ah, oh, come on! Don't do this. All of them? Don't do this. Uh... No. Okay. Lawrence loves it. He loves it, guys. Oh, yeah. Now, typically a world premiere Did you say one game, but leave it to Sega to announce five new games in one trailer. That's not new. new. No, that's not new at all. All those are first of the many brand new games. I mean, I'll play. I'll play all of them over the next I know several you will. years. Thanks to Sega for that wow. really incredible Bru announcement. Is that a shot? Right, is well, this it, next trailer what? might be five remakes Dragon announced at once? That is a new one. Why is that a shot? I mean, I'll take go. a shot. I mean, I'm just saying it's unprecedented. We so we were goofing on like, oh, there's gonna be so many remakes. I don't think anybody. I was a Sandland. I don't think anybody expected. Oh no, is it DBZ. Ah, uh, Budokai Four. If you want to do a hey. shot for five remakes, this looks sick, dude. I'll do a shot for five remakes. <laughs> Well, hold on a minute. All right. I just want to distract from the Dragon Ball. <laughs> Dude, that looks, that looks righteous. Man, imagine being Sega and getting bodied by, like, 20-year-old anime characters. I'll show you the horrors of hell. Hmm. Look at those mind games. Did you see that? I don't care. All the blinky blinks? I don't care. Shwink, shwink, shwink. Man, Ego's gonna be lit in 24 if this game's coming out before that. Sparking Zero! You love Dragon Ball? <clears throat> yeah, who doesn't? <laughs> Sick! Uh, you threw up in your wait, mouth when you said that. Behavior's making that? Oh, this is the next game. Okay, that would be weird as fuck. Uh, yeah, I I don't know. I feel like we should do a shot for five all remakes. Alright, right, done. I'm in. I'm into this, though. I like behavior a lot. Remember when they were called A2M? Whatever's down there. No. It's too dangerous. Stop hitting me. That's why they renamed Don't the company. Me. Don't touch me. You keep knocking over that bottle. Yeah, I do. It's it's got a tall, you know, it's I'm glad a, that it's uh, yeah, I'm glad it's thing. corked. There's a I remember there being an interview with the with the like the devs at A2M back then and they were like, "Yeah, we're tired of jokes. Fuck it." I'm like, "We just have to rename our company." What is it? Artificial Mind in Motion, I think it was called A2M instead of ass to mouth. Yeah. <laughs> that there's that aspect so do a half is, shot for these yeah was this, this dead by daylight or do a half shot for the five remakes crazy taxi's back 
Shinobi. Golden Axe uh, is back. Wow, Shinobi wow. is back. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, crazy taxi. Cheers. Cheers. From the way that I've been living. You didn't play Crazy Taxi when it had tracks from the offspring? Fat parents, they have fat kids too. When I was dropping off somebody at the Pizza Hut. <coughs> I know that helmet. Do that's not Imagine Dragons, is it? Please tell me that's not Imagine Dragons. Don't you dare. Hold on. I have to Google that. From the day. Uh, no, no. It does kind of sound like a Madden Dragon. It really did. That's right. Two huge names in the horror genre, Dead by Daylight and Supermassive oh, no, Games, hey, are hey, coming hey, together hey, for hey, a hey, single player Imagine playing your single player games that's just like an offshoot of a fucking service now, tonight game. Tonight we're showing you lots of new worlds, that's why I refuse but now to play anything it's time to return Legend, to Brandon, a world no matter how good it I haven't is. seen in quite some time. Mm. Alf is back. Alf. Alf is back. Klonoa? No. What is this, Bruce? What mascot is this? We know this. Maybe not. No, Lawrence. This music is very similar. Very Don't familiar. you dare. It's a David Kushner song. Don't you dare say it's Imagine Dragons. Is this a, is this an Atelier, Atelier, Atelier game? God, anime shit, man. It all looks the same, man. You love anime shit. I do. We love it. I did. Oh, it's a it's a second Densetsu. It's a secret of. Yeah, the Rabbites, bro. Secret of Mana Four is back, baby. That's pretty cool. I think. Bruce, are you excited to play that? Remember, action R. The roots of action RPG is what you're witnessing right now. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. The answer is yes. A new Mana Adventure. That's cool. That's cool. It's not a remake, theoretically. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Another game I don't give a fuck about. <laughs> no, they look at the giant... We're Visions of Mana! Oh, that's actually kind of cool. Yeah. All right, Secret of Mana whatever. Five. Right? Twenty? Okay. Mm -hmm. Three? Secret of Mana four? Secret I guess... Mana? Yeah, it's, it'd be four, I guess. No? Because, no. There was a PlayStation of Mana... Just to the beat of a drum. So five. A fleeting moment can feel like a lifetime for those caught in its death. Wait, is this uh what? Ghost of Sushima? Lifetime can pass no way. Of an eye. Hold on, I'm, I'm hiding somebody on the chat. Yeah, that was pretty wet. Sorry about that. Hey, Team, Team Ninja. Ninja. We love them. The only thing we know for sure. Man, to be a Japanese dude, they can just grow like a, like a you know, just like five hairs, but it still looks cool. I don't know how they do it. God bless them. Lawrence, you could grow an uh, awesome mustache. I mean, I could. That's the thing, though. I, I, it wouldn't be the, like, patchy thing that they got going on. No, you have a fantastic mustache. Yeah, I'd be pretty full. You have, a, you have an amazing five o'clock shadow. Dude, sh yeah. Shaving sucks. It does. Uh, weird thing about getting older, shaving Let's nicks do don't heal quite as fast, huh? No. I, like, took a patch off my chin and it's been gone for, like, four days. Well, you, it's because you're older, so yeah. your body, like, takes longer to heal because you don't- you have less testosterone. <sighs> and, but I watch- uh, I watch Die Hard every day, man. Let us not forget the pain of Master showing and the countless others who have suffered. That's the fun thing about getting older, is I recognize how much just being an adolescent male is wrapped into, like, young adult fantasy. Oh, yeah. Because it's always you eat a lot and you heal really fast. That's right. Those that's are the, the two. And, like, that's every young so dude. Shall we? This looks cool. Ronin. I'm down. Rise of the Ronin. Okay, sure. Yeah? It's a, like a beat-em-up with a drama? A gun? Sacrifice their part on our whole duty. So which of you will do the deed? Okay. Lawrence, have you watched uh, Blue Eye Samurai on Netflix? No. Should I? Uh, Blue Eye Samurai is actually pretty good. Okay. I was skeptical. That's Rise and of the I watched Ronin it and I was like, this is actually pretty good. Now it is time Surprisingly, to very good. Blue Eye Samurai. Categories. Down. 
Here are the nominees for best action. It takes game. very little to motivate me. Armored best action six, game. It's got to be Armored Core. Armored Core. It's got to be Armored Dead Core because it's the two. only uh, award that's, it's going to win. Hi Fi Rush. Yeah. And Remnant. But also, two. like, people are going to vote for that to prove how legit they are. That's right. Armored yeah, Core right. Six. Fire also, Armored Core Six was fucking amazing. It was good. It was really good. Uh, Here are the nominees for uh, Wonder. Uh, it should go to Mario Alan Wonder. Art Direction. Alan Wake 2. It might go to Super Alan Wake. Alan Wake 2. It's got to go to Wonder, Zelda, though. It's, it's two in your face kingdom. with its art. And the Game Award goes to... Alan no. Wake 2. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You got it, Bruce. You got it. Z-R-A-R. Oh, no. Gran Turismo. Call the Mountain. Call the Mountain. Call the Mountain. Hey, good job, Alan Wake. And the game award goes Actually, it to deserves it, I think. Resident Evil Village, Village VR, VR mode. mode. I mean, it's really good, but also weird. Mm. Mobile game. Uh, Honkai Star Rail. Yeah, you're right. Star Rail. But I... Oh, no, no, Star, Star Rail. Star Rail. Yeah, Final Remote Fantasy branding might win. But Star Rail, I think, is it. Star Rail was legit. Terra Nil was really... Terra Nil might actually get it. Goes to Hey, right, never mind. Star Rail. Terra Nil had like cozy elements, but All right, we have much Honkai was really good. The writing in it actually was super funny. Really? Yeah. It's like, it's really... And some of our biggest game it's, weird. it's really like Hitchhiker's Guide. Come. It's very... Oh, okay. like it's like... It takes place in a realm that's so far outside of the boundaries of like uh, human Bible. space travel or whatever. Now it's about human quirk. Okay. I love that, that sci-fi world where humanity is still just weird and ever-present. They also, like, dive way into existential topics and a bunch of, like, philosophical bullshit, and then they're just like, ah, oh, whatever. <laughs> so it's, it's a lot of that. Right, I'm gonna get Yeah, what's, what's getting promoted right now? Is this a human interest package for Facebook? Oh, Venba. I gotta play that. Imagine releasing Venba and then Thirsty Suitors comes out. Love, loss, and family. I've had Venba the on my. Uh, the oh hey, hey Frida. You've become. I've had Venba on my. Ben Everybody who's played the game. I've had Venba on my. Uh, something from their lives. Rog Ally. In ways for a couple months now. I wouldn't have expected. Yeah, game awards haven't been about the awards since day one. It is what it is. The game awards are about what people want to see, and that's uh, shooting a motorcycle and having it explode. I think. I think. Uh, I think Frida has an itchy rump. Because she keeps wanting me to scratch her, her quarters. And she makes a weird face when I do it. Oh, there was a truck shot? Oh, no way. All right, I'll, I'll take a I'll take a, sh a shooty shot for a truck shot of a dev. I believe you that it was there, because it's exactly where it would be. But my guards were down. All right. I can save someone with this. All right, here we go. I'll, uh, I'll pre-pour for Bruce here. We all, hey, that's life. God made us with parts we can't scratch. We're just squirrels looking for nuts out here, and the nut is somebody who will scratch the part you can't scratch. What up, man? Welcome in. Okay, now we sit down. Welcome in. But the miracles of science. I kind of like that phrase. I've heard it at restaurants more lately. There was actually. Were you keeping an eye on chat? What was the truck shot? Uh, it was in the last, well, theoretically, it was in the last, uh, montage. Uh, which, yeah, my guard was down. I was having a good time. I was just cruising. All right, I'll take a drink for that. Oh, no, the truck shot dev is a shot rule. Woo! Because it was supposed to not happen that much. I don't think it will. I mean, you already sipped, so I think that should count. You know, huh? Let's do it. All right. Cheers. Wait, I thought that already came out. Uh, it did. It's a nightmare. It's a great game. Mm. Whew. Is that a vape? Oh, this is a truth. Oh, no, bro. It's going to debuff you. You're only getting stressed. I love... I love what happens okay, when you fund, like, anti-smoking initiatives, and then they actually win, premier, like they kill smoking, and they're like, fuck, what do we do? Creators. What do we do? Yeah. He's been a huge supporter of the Game Awards since the very beginning back in 2014, and tonight, I am so, so honored to share this it's latest gone, update with you on his upcoming project. Here we go. Kojima? Ken Levine. Ken, yeah, it's got to be Kojima. Kojima. 
Yep. He right. has to be there. Yeah, I was gonna say, oh, we yeah. have to see him. He has to be at the actual game awards, right? Whoa, the teeth tech, Bruce. You can see the little jaggies on her. I don't care about the fucking teeth, dude. I do. <sighs> fucking Kojima, man. You love Kojima. Lawrence, you love Kojima. Her, her eyes are the reflection of a mocap studio, though. I know. Of like a facial cap studio. I know that. Why? What's he telling us? <gasps> it's that guy. But it's like, for real though, he's just like showing his capture because it's cut off right at the neck. Is he showing off his new performance capture studio? Lawrence loves Kojima. I do. I'm just trying to figure out what he's, what is he showing off? God, this near focus shit. What? There's so much acting. Kojima loves <laughs> acting. He does. He really does. <sighs> what is it about the man? Oh, it's a different thing. Okay. Damn it. OD. So it's not a game. Though. All players and all screamers. It's not a game. Oh, it's like PT. It's not a fucking game. It's like game. PT. That it's, sounds awesome. It's like. Uh, I'm looking forward to that. It's like Silent Hill Ascension. Yeah, or that sounds awesome. Bro, that was nothing. Oh, you're right. It was nothing, but. I'm Jeff was just like, Kojima, you gotta give me something. Give me something. Give me something, you motherfucker. Give me something. And you just like, okay, well, here's what dumped out of my phone's cap. There he is. Oh, it's the dance. All right, Please is Jeff gonna dance? The visionary game developer behind oh, OD. we gotta do a shot. We gotta do a shot. Look at those red shoes. So, so these soles are a new thing. I was shopping for dress shoes, and these, like, blobby, bubbly soles that are on this man's shoes, are, it's like... Those are informal shoes now. Oh. It's like a new thing. I don't Welcome, know. Welcome, Mr. Kojima, back to the Game Awards. Couldn't he have had one more red uh, thing on his you, person, though? Uh, like a watch or a ring? Or? The shoes are a little... Oh, I love the uh, right, gold we, logo on his jacket. Uh, yeah, the Kojima uh, Productions. We got we gotta, we gotta be speaking to him. Uh, right, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta, we're in church right now. It's Kojima time. We gotta, we gotta listen to what he has to say. <laughs> I'm really glad to be at the 10th uh, uh, Game Awards. Oh, right. Really happy to show the new title, OD. And this title will feature uh, main role Sophia Lillis, uh, Hunter Schaefer, and Udo Kier. Uh, I think we all I'm, want to know I'm more, of course. Sorry, what right. kind of game are you making, Mr. Kojima? <laughs> what kind of game are you making? Yeah, maybe you need to explain that. After what we saw, which was nothing, you just showed us the raw dump out of your performance capture with like textures mapped over it. <laughs> For real though, it's kind of not cool to just show that as a, well, whatever. Lawrence, it's going to be great. Don't you dare question Hideo Kojima. Don't you fucking dare. That's a big puddle on that mouse pad. Sorry about that. Cheers to Hideo. Mm. Like, no hate, by the way. Uh, like we were mentioning, you got your Ed Boons of the industry. People who have... Don't you dare, Lawrence! I won't. I'm tired of you questioning Hideo Kojima, the greatest creator of all time. Uh, but this one, um, with uh, help of Xbox, Xbox Game Studios and using their uh -huh. uh, cloud gaming technology. Um, I'm, I'm going to go I'm get a paper towel. Don't, uh, cloud. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's really it's a big to make one. immersive cloud, and dude. also something that never no one has okay. seen Okay, so the cloud is the, is the video delivery and vehicle. It is a game, don't get me wrong. Is it? But no. it's at the same time a movie, but at the same time a new form of media. Kojima's never made a non-game. Well, we as much as people yell at him for making movie out. games, he's never oh, made like an FMV wait, game. Wait, wait. Is, is there somebody else at the door? Fuck you! Stop this! Oh, it's another celebrity. God, with even bigger shoes. Everyone, please welcome Jordan Peele to the Kojima verse. Jordan Peele's here. Sorry about that. It gl it glug glug a little bit. What's up? Isn't it weird that the jet that uh Craig Miller's in oh the audience God, and we Jordan, weren't invited? Welcome to the Game yes. Awards. What mm. a fun surprise. Guys, <coughs> we were not invited to the Game Awards right? because no one gives yeah, a fuck about us. Icon, and, just so uh, you know. I, I can just I can say from the first moment I played Metal Gear Solid 2. 
I knew I was Metal Solid the work of an artist whose craft just hits different. Okay. And he's been an inspiration to me. I mean, Peel, and the opportunity to collaborate Peel and Kojima with him clicking makes a lot of sense. Absolutely. Especially films, after watching Nope. I'm always trying to I don't think we ever compared notes on this. Immersion. I feel like Nope is an Put amazing commentary on like the Hollywood the syndrome and how it can I would agree. consume you. Yeah. Jupe's character how he like this. idolizes his his trauma. Yeah. Yeah. Nubba I very much enjoyed level. that film actually. Me like, too. That was really good. And what yeah. he's cooking up here is completely immersive, utterly terrifying, and I am absolutely honored to be collaborating with the goat. Let's go. <laughs> In what way though? And how? Two goats working together. Maybe it'll be uh, Adele, uh, I want to ask you. Two goats. How are you collaborating? <laughs> with right? Tell us about it. Like OD, <laughs> like, <laughs> like PT, PT, OD, PT, OD. Right? We just, all we got was faces screaming at us. Yeah, PT, OD. That's two letters. Remember when they called the PlayStation 2 the emotion engine? <laughs> they did? Yeah, because it could render like the polygons on the face. Stop you could it. see, That's where you you could see the actors like being sad. God, we're so that shit. Hideo Kojima has never released a non game, a but he's about to, him, and that worries like me. We were yeah? friends from the past. He was a we game very well. developer, we and he was a game like and producer. Really and that meant something, something for a long and time. And true. This people time, would like to, um, like well, Death Stranding, Jordan, people called it a walking simulator, but there were mechanics about it. Like, you had to hit the buttons, you had to, like, distribute your loads, you had to. There was game to it. Um, I'm worried about this. Now. I don't so want Kojima to slip into movie really sycophantry. Awesome. So that's why I don't know if that's a word, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, I like things. <laughs> I love Kojima's games, Crichton. Lawrence is a, like a, a, a Kojima super fan. Yeah, it's true. No joke. I, Death Stranding is probably the, my favorite game he's ever made. Uh, and I love it a lot. And I, I have great respect for him. I'm worried about this, though. <laughs> I do not. So I don't give a fuck about what he makes, but also PT, I think, is actually really fun and good. But I don't necessarily think that like it's like the uh, be-all, end-all of video games. So. It was not the time to reveal this game. What I say right now is that I'm kind of... Um, um, it's not just Jordan. I have other uh, creative collaborative partners. Uh, with me on board on this project. I can't really uh, say who they are right now, but they I tell you, they are the legends, and yeah. they're gonna be amazing. And uh, I actually call them the Avengers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, the door's closed for now. So no more <laughs> Lawrence took off his glasses. I, no! I just wanna stress I've never seen that Lawrence what this man take is off his glasses. <laughs> is yeah, a histrionic removal of glasses. Crazy. <laughs> that's, that's it. Hey, we can now oh wait no. to learn more. Yeah, GDT there. Kojima, Jordan Peele, no. thank you so much, Guillermo. guys. Why, yeah, Guillermo couldn't. He's got other right. shit going on. He's, he's building a bust of Frankenstein and airbrushing it right now. This <laughs> years in the making. Fuck, 16 years, Bruce. I own an island. Of the Jurassic, Jurassic Park. Park. Uh, Jurassic Park. No it's got one good movie, bro. For this place, <laughs> I wanted to show them something that wasn't an illusion. No, 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 this is Dr. Maya Joshua. I feel like there's an entire generation defined around no, buying into 80s trash. No, like, you love Transformers? Goodness. No, Your life might be wasted. No. Oh, they're gonna do the shots. Do you think there's gonna be a with the banner falling down, but the banner has the name of the game on no, it? No, no, no. No way. No way. They're already- they're- they're recreating all this bullshit. Uh, from the one movie that was good! No the way. one! A million years ago! Lawrence. There's no way they're gonna do it. No way. Let it go, man. We get old. Things that were good are not good. Halo Combat Evolved was mid. That's just how it is. <laughs> Please embrace it. Music was rad, though. And that last level, huh? Is anyone there? <sighs> oh, they've got... And then someone's gonna spit. There it is! <laughs> She's not dead yet. She's good. 
Is she gonna say no one cares? Look, no one cares. Ha! Ah! Or, or do you think Jeff's gonna say that? Who's Jeff? Goldblum? Ha! <laughs> uh, they can't afford him. Oh no, no, he's just at home getting drunk right now. I hope. Oh, uh, the flare. Is there gonna be a toilet gag? You think? The banner? Nope. Okay. All right, I'm fine with this. I'm okay oh, with it's this. VR? It's VR. <laughs> Lawrence hates it. I love it. This is garbage, man. I love it. Maybe it'll be good. No, nah, it won't be good. Uh, Saber. Okay. Please welcome Grammy Award winning producer, Zed. Hi. Zed! I like Zed. Me too. Zed's dead, baby. It's a good shirt, I think. Hello, everybody. Wait. I'm yeah. honored to be here tonight to present the award for best audio design. Sound is an often it's overlooked kind of but crucial aspect of game development. It's what brings games to life, creating the immersive the, world. The collar is not glittery. The sleeves are not glittery. It's the eerie noises deep in the forest, the echoes inside an abandoned spacecraft, or the satisfying sound. That could have been us, Bruce. We could have written the words that this Zed is saying right now. Never. Incredible examples no of echoey words no. inside of spacecraft. No. Talented sound designers have pushed the boundaries of what's possible. Here are the nominees. I was gonna. I wanted to go to a Zed concert, uh, but when my last marriage, which is like twelve years ago, years point, ago, yeah. yeah, my ex-wife had already booked a ticket, and I was like, "Can I go?" And she looked at me with like the most disgusted look I've ever seen. And I was like, "Well." Not only am I not going to the Zed concert, but I guess my marriage is over. <laughs> anyway, that's the association I have with Zed. Lawrence? I, I was playing GTA 5 when she came back from the Zed I show. I understand. And yeah. the game award goes to. Hi, Fire Rush. Hey! Yes! Fuck yes! I am 100% glad that Hi Fire Rush won something. Dude, Hi-Fi Rush was a highlight of 2023. Also, Tango deserves more awards than they've ever gotten. Uh, thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> it's really one of the few, one of the few devs that have been acquired and have still fucking slayed it. That's right. Please play Evil Within 1 and 2. I played uh, Evil Within 1. Enjoyed it. It's fun. You should try too. It, like, it's, oh, really? it, it ratchets it. It ratchets Just a quick everything. Translation. Thank you for this amazing it award. Ratchets. It's so glad that the work everything that the team has done together <laughs> ahead to achieve has been recognized here. Thank you to everyone who supported this project. And from myself, thank you to our family, friends, partners, pets. Um, thank you everyone, Bethesda, ZeniMax, Microsoft, Ooh, somebody said, and uh, I assumed all the players out Lawrence's there. Lawrence's ex-wife was a um, funhouse bit. Going with this ridiculous oh, project. Oh, really? That's Most fun. Most of all, to the team I, uh, of Tango for I taking such to a wild idea and making a it a reality. Thank you I so much. Because I think it's a fun bit. My, my bitch of an ex-wife, right? But, uh, no, nah, I, I was temperate. The problem was, like, it's, it's weird, man. I remember, like, throwing it out as a All bit, right, and then the, the room got mega Fortnite. quiet. And I was like, oh, hold on, what this? And I was like, well, Fortnite. I got nothing to play with here, so I, that's it then, I guess. To collect. Fortnite is expanding into a no, it's a real thing. Platform. Yeah, real life is, uh, beyond Battle Royale. real life. Earlier today, yeah, Lego Fortnite really launched, and on Saturday, the music game Fortnite Festival. Tomorrow, though, yeah, the it turns out the, the secret to good Rocket comedy is life trauma. Rocket <laughs> racing. Here's your first. I mean, like who would have thought? Most comedians would actually say, "Yes, that's true." Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait, Rocket League on a track? Eh? Eh? Wait, epic though. Wait, hey, what is this? What are we doing? Fortnite racing? Fortnite kart racer. Dude, racing games are so popular. Nintendo kind of kind of proved this with Mario Kart. Yeah, it makes sense Epic would make a kart racing game. Yeah. Uh, you gotta like, you do bumps and jumps. All right, all right. There it is. Okay. Oh, balls. What's the Korean fucking racing game? That's the, the global phenomenon. I can see the dude's oval head in my mind. Yeah, there, there's like a... What? Yeah, there's like a mobile game that... Uh, I can't remember the name of it. It's a thing, I promise. I'm not making this up right now. Oh! You can drive on the roof! 
in this Mario Kart. Mm. Oh, Rocket Racing! Find it in Fortnite. Like Rocket League! No, we almost got sponsored for a video for that in, in Funhouse, I remember. Yeah, we did? Yeah. Oh. I remember the... Oh, captured on PC. That's a very, like, Dragon's Dogma font down Yet there. Fame still holds sway. Hmm? I'm curious about this now. Fades to it got me interested. Time. It's a very pretentious it opening. You too want oh. to be an immortal? Game science. Master, okay, never mind. I'm out. More good folks I'm out. Or bad. I'm out. More good. This is some PRC games of service shit. Then why is there always <laughs> suffering? And why do the bad folks always win? Because goodness without teeth punishes not. It only I think Whoa, this looks evil. sick though. Cleanse the world. Ah, it's a blood Wukong thing. And grow lotuses in it. That is it an expansion for some Wukong? Destiny. Yeah. Eh. Okay. I, the keeper of the new west. Remember when Ninja Theory the made Journey to the West games? The no. One that was a good time. <laughs> and now they take eight million Spore years to launch anything. To this is cool, man. I've been watching a lot of Journey to the West movies lately. There's a. Uh, I wonder if this game will have the plot arc where they all get pregnant and then they have to go find the tears of abortion or something. What? Yeah. That's a that's a Monkey King three thing. If you're ever trawling the depths of Amazon Prime, I got a I got a bit of an issue with the color balance. Oh, hmm. I mean, character action plus Journey to the West is pretty pretty prime. That's good shit. I guess. Oh, okay. Oh, huh. sweet destiny. From who, though? From Huam? That is a weirdly specific date to be like nine months away. All right. Okay. So, wait, who's making this? Who is making this? Black Myth? Mm. Okay. Batman. Huh? Oh, Green Batman. Lantern, <gasps> the Flash. Superman. No. Uh, Mortal Kombat? Yeah, we're back. We're back. It's uh, Suicide Squad, yeah. They've all been enraged. My justice what Lawrence, will I'm gonna say that Suicide Squad, Kill the Justice League, is going to be fun. You have to kill us, Diana. We have to die to save the world. Yeah, it's gonna be really I think it's gonna be fun. Because everyone's decided it's gonna be bad early, right? But they're too locked into their design elements. Yeah. You think you're a team I think now. it'll be fun, but middling. Like you can stop us. This was this was the problem with Avengers. When you design a game around the latency of being co-op, you can't make a beat 'em up around that. Which is why everything is like it's so traversal based. It's all like uh, ranged because you can't have a beat 'em up where everyone's just slapping the same thing. Capcom figured this out like 15 years ago. Is that is that you have to wrap your design around online latency? Wait, oh, that's a uh, fucking blur. Time for us bad guys to save the world. <laughs> oh, gorillas! I'm tired of feeling old and pandered to. Too late. <laughs> okay. That 
with Suicide Squad. Okay. And joining me now are Rebecca and Megan from Digital Extremes up in Canada. Non bros. To talk about Look at this fit, though. Frame. Holy fuck. Frame, it's awesome. The claws. Tonight. Yeah, it's yeah. awesome. Damn. Damn. I understand you've also no, got bros, bros, no bros. No bros. Hashtag. No bros. No bros. No bros. The no bros try harder. So, you know, clearly. You know, of course. We assumed we'd get a senior's discount of some time just because our game is probably the oldest game here, maybe. But yeah, we have. going strong. I know. It's because our community is so awesome. And we are going to be showing you the release date for our next major update for Warframe. So we do have a trailer for, you know, Warframe players around the world to watch, which is quite exciting. Yeah, Wait, I mean, it's been Warframe? an incredible ride, oh. 10 years oh, of we're just done. Okay. No bros. developers no and our bros. community just supporting us That's along a great the way. Sleeve, so though. Shit. if you're a Warframe fan and watching, we love you and thank you so much. And I hope you enjoy the next update, Whispers in the Walls. Oh, yeah. Thanks for having us back, too. Devs at home, we love you guys. All right. Those thanks, claws, guys. Let's take a look. I can't, I can't get rid of it. Oh. Mm. For generations, you've slept. No purpose. All right, Warframe. No Here we go. To wake you. I feel about Warframe, now, Bruce. I don't care. All right. You have Great. I don't care. The future. So what is going on? It's going on. It's going on. You excited about no our uh, Warframe? No bros. No bros. Here's the thing, when you're in a cyber warframe suit, you don't know if you're bro or not. It's a bro agnostic society. Oh, look at those new powers. That probably means something to people who play Warframe. Oh, I have my magic book. I got my cyber suit and my magic book. Oh, the V's pointing down. Yep. To the dick. Big Adonis belt. What if your stats determine the size of your Adonis belt? No bros, no bros, no bros. I watched a David Decoteau movie the other day featuring a gentleman with the most bloated Adonis belt that I've ever seen. Good for him. And I could tell that he was trying to like jut it out to every shot. Which he should have. Why are they in a subway? I thought this was like the cyber future. Bruce, I only have one more 1313 to get through. And I think it's Frank and Queen. What and the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question. What? A fair question. There is so much more. Sorry, Game I slipped Awards into a whole ahead. other you thing. The surprises were done. Uh, nope, there's lots coming. But while you're here, head to supergameawards.com okay. through December 31st wow, for a chance to win, win a, lot. a trip for four to the brand new uh, Super Nintendo World at Universal Studios sorry, I'm Hollywood. I'm getting distracted. So I have, I have a holiday tradition where every Thanksgiving I get drunk as fuck and I watch a... David Decoteau 1313 movie. Yeah. And uh, there were a lot of them because he made all like eight in a, in a year. Uh, but I only have one more to go. So uh, I'm about to close the book on, the the, on my tradition there. Uh, which is a bit odd. The last one I watched was actually not at the Malibu Coke House that I love. With the half beetle in the lobby and the workout room Super with all the boys. Now open at Universal Studios Hollywood. I've been to, have you been to Super Nintendo? No. Okay, I'm either. <gasps> Starfield. Guys. Is that the no, 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 Spa no. yeah. Space is not boring. Okay. Space no, no, no. is only boring when you think it's boring. Yeah, let an AI bot tell you why space is great. Space is only not boring when you think it's not boring. A cinematic masterwork. Please quote Paul Tassi. Please. Please. No? Ah. Oh. Love you, Paul. If you're out there, you're the realist. Dual shockers. Dual shockers. All right. Three ramp. Damn. Imagine giving it a 9.5 and not getting <laughs> quoted in the trailer. <laughs> This is pretty like. It's not boring. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. This is like some Demon Souls shit no they're boring. doing right now. That font is not very NASA punk, is it? Life hey, to the by the way, Death am I the only one that's kind of deeply insulted we that they would call the anything the about Starfield the punk? Starfield is the least punk thing that I have ever beheld in terms of like media. That's fine. <sighs> you should give it Andy Sidaris films a run. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know the, the Bullets, Blood, and Bigotry trilogy or whatever. I've watched a handful. Or a handful. Handful. Life to the dead. Life to the living. 
like NASA punk. Imagine thinking that any second of Starfield is punk in any possible way. Cyberpunk, actual punk, in, in certain ways. Starfield? Starfield is the teacher's pet. Starfield is the game that wants to be liked. Don't leave me like this. And that's the least punk thing I can ever imagine. You call it NASA punk. What does that mean? Exposed pipes? Okay, so it's an apartment from 2012. Banishers. Ghosts of New Eden. 911, this call is being recorded. What is your emergency? I... I need the police. You need the police. This is like Division? This has to be Division. Oh, there's so many flags. You ready? Yeah, this has got to be Division. Or is this the New Vegas shit that people thought about? Except it's not in Vegas, clearly. We gotta get you up. Look out! Ready? Mmm. Tom Clancy's... Please give us your money. No one will want to play a video game where you have an uninterruptible cutscene of you dragging somebody to the wall. Hey. It's ready or not? Oh, that's even better. That's 100% better. So, are you ready? Yes! Wait, do I have to take psychological exams in ready or not? Oh, please tell me. Please, for the love of God, tell me that I have to go to a mission and gun down a hundred people and then go back to an interview room where a psych examiner judges whether or not I'm fit for duty. Please, for the love of God, make that a gameplay loop. Age of Empires, oh my God. Call of Duty, oh my God. Warzone Mobile, Little Nightmares, like, and Tom Nancy's hands. Rainbow Six are just some of the big people. titles coming to mobile in 2024. You missed a Ready or Not Game tease for nothing. To vote for which title yeah, you a SWAT want to game? Win. There was a Ready or Not something? Award. Ooh. Now, please welcome last year's winner of Games for Impact for the game As Dusk Falls, which is coming to PlayStation you play on March Dusk 7 I actually and finished is available it. for pre-order tonight. Creative it was director like, Caroline I'm gonna, Marshall. I'm gonna preempt you, Bruce, so I can be the bad cop. That game sucked to ass. Oh no, sucked to ass. Yeah, I say whatever you want now. I'm not the bad cop now. That game sucked ass. I thought it was fun, but also like... It's just a narrative game, so... Narrative games can be good, though. It's true. It's, it's very rare if a narrative game is good. You're right. Very rare. Dude, the ending of the game, for me, was the, like, hostage going back to reconcile with her captor. That's right. And then it just kind of ended. But the... Foster empathy and connect you could have us AI write the, Sorry, sorry, the writer torn of apart by As Dust Falls and might be watching. This is one of the most essential Challenge me to write a better As Dust Falls and I will. <laughs> All right. Nominees. And I feel like that justifies me in criticizing the game. The game. Right. Legend says a traveler will reunite the peoples. What's the theme? Oh. Using this Digital Renegade challenged me. There it is. Wait, what did he say? He challenged me. To That's what? It. Challenge you? I challenge you to what? No, the, the writer of the game. Terran Hill was actually fun. Terran Hill was great. Yeah. I haven't played Vendy yet. I really want to. I love cooking in games. What game impacted you this year, Bruce? And the game of Wolf goes to... None. I played, uh, fucking Norco. Chia. Chia. All right. I haven't played Chia yet. I haven't installed. I actually, oh. I played Chia. She, she was gonna get it. She was fun. Well played the game. What was weird is I played Norco and then I talked with somebody that was actually like a, a city planner in New Orleans. Thank you. And they were like, man, it's fucked. This, this city is fucked. Like the way the way that like pumps are distributed, it's so here, clear that the rich people have cornered the entire city for really? themselves. Yeah, the city's going to flood again. It's known. I'd like to thank it, our I mean, it's, family it's, for your trust. Sure. Games for impact, Lawrence. I mean, we, we love you. And Sony for believing in this crazy project and the entire population a of new caledonia absolutely who championed and embraced cheer all along thank you mercy already what does games for impact mean it's the woke game awards but they can't call it that oh hello I'm Abu Bakr Salim. I'm mainly known for my acting work in Raised by Wolves and Assassin's Creed Origins. 
Raise oh. my walls is pretty dope. Yeah. Like but, that, but, but, that is not why I'm here. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, no, this is, this is crazy, man. <laughs> I mean, I, I remember watching the Game Awards when I was younger, so being up here now is oh, like... Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> that was a good moment. And then, <laughs> Reggie. Cut to Reggie. <laughs> Look, I've, I've loved games all my life. Uh, I, I mean, I played them all my life, man, from Kingdom Hearts, Gary's Mod. Gary's in the crowd. Right. Anyone in the crowd from Detroit? And it, it, it started with my dad, right? No? He got me yeah. into them. He understood, you know, that games are an art form. You know, it's a great space to enjoy and escape from the reality of the world. And he passed away a while back. And I'll tell you what, I'm still figuring it out. But four years ago, I decided that I needed to try and process my grief in a way that felt true to me and him. So I took the biggest risks of my life and threw everything that I had in making a game, a, a piece of art that honored him, an ode to the people we have loved and lost. So. You gotta, you gotta clap for that. So the reason I'm here tonight is because with the love and support of a lot of people here, I'm going to take another big risk and I'm going to show you what we've been building. You know, I'm going to offer you this game, a game from my old man. No publisher. I hope you like it. God, imagine being Jeff and you get pitched all these projects that have no publisher and you're like, Every story Oh wait, it does have publisher. The originals, yeah. My bad, my bad. Man. Each story carries with it the echoes of those Ridley that came Scott's, before. Right? My that's, Baba, that's the weird thing about father. being in games media. Oh, Your story was snatched away is that like you are part of the PR my cycle? Zao, yep. A shaman of Kinzera. Here, I seek my father's return. Cool. We got, we got dashes, we got double jumps, we got wall jumps. Oh my gosh. We're we gonna, got it all, baby. We're going to collect orbs, I'm sure of it. Oh, he's doing the Prince of Persia, like. Yep. Millennial Zoot. So many orbs. Oh man, think about all the orbs. What about the like, what about the orbs that increase your life bar? Huh? Yeah, you're gonna collect those orbs too. Yeah, and there's probably like a blue bar underneath your green bar. <laughs> and you can pick up blue orbs that make that bar bigger. Yeah. What up, man? I'm into this. I like these games. I cannot stop. I will not stop. Metroidvania? Kalunga, god of death, hear my plea. Kalunga, god of death, come to me. We can't let Ubisoft's avatar swoop Show all of the are. exoticism. Exactly. Okay. Okay. All right. I wonder if it's the, it's the A with no with no strike through anymore. What's weird is all the all the like temples are not mm. space games anymore. Hey, yeah, Don't Knob was gonna show some shit. Ah, oh, it's life is strange. All right. Freaking uh, Jusant was amazing. I really, really enjoyed that game. We got thick lesbians. It's all here, baby. Every, it's everything in a video game I could want. We got chokers. What else is there to like? Damn, I got a whole crew of like. Oh, uh, this was that show on Amazon. What's the name? Oh, Yellow Jackets. Twenty-seven years. No, <laughs> but I've watched, that, I've watched that show. Yellow Jackets is pretty legit. There's, there's another show on Amazon that was like this. Hmm. We made a Lost Records bloom and rage. Why is it bloom? That's a very vaginal word, isn't it? That was Lost Records, a brand new world from the development team behind Life What is if Strange. it's Stranger Things, now but they're Now we have a lesbians. world premiere, a new look at a game based on an ongoing <laughs> franchise of 18 years. This, is, this is some Don Draper at the board shit. World. Paper Time Girls, Paper Girls, that's what it was. I watched that. Between cartoon 3D graphics I watched and hardcore all of action. It. This is the first Berserker. Berserk? Eh? No, Berserker. Hmm. Oh, uh, wait. There's some next on logo. Okay, I can probably piss now. Finally. Good I luck. Found you. Wait, this looks cool. Don't worry, Trampled it's gonna be fine. Don't. It's fine. It'll be free to play. Trusted. Abandoned. From the beginning. 
This looks cool though. Doesn't it? You thought you were a right? hero. Hmm. Hmm. We're pissed. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, he's gonna like fucking beat up some dudes. The camera's gonna be behind him. He'll have some abilities on cooldown. He'll dodge. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> There'll be a parry move where he's like schwam and then it like Yeah, the camera like the FOB goes Whoa, way up. Oh, he throws him. Yeah, it is, that's it. Alright, I'll be right back. Ordinary ghost. Oh my gosh, Lawrence. Your You're missing nothing. It's amazing, guys. It's amazing. Wow. The first berserker, Kazan. Looks good, right? All right, now it's time for our sure, first Jeff. performance by the Game Awards Orchestra. <gasps> this one, though, is a the little Game Awards bit of Orchestra. A They're about to play music from an upcoming game that no one has heard yet. You might call it one of those world premieres, and this is a special one. It's written by one of the greatest video game composers of all time, the legendary Nobuo Utamatsu. Here is the Game Awards Orchestra, led by Lauren Balf, with lead vocals from Lauren Allred, debuting the theme song from Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Enjoy. Oh my god! Guys, this might be the greatest moment of the Game Awards ever. This might be the greatest moment of the game of the Game Awards of all time. Lawrence is missing the orchestra. Yeah, it's underwhelming. That's exactly right. Lawrence is missing it. It doesn't matter. Who cares? Who gives a shit? I kind of wish I was at Denny's right now, eating eggs and bacon and sausage and pancakes. That's right. I wish I had a Grand Slam. <laughs> Tim. <laughs> That's right, I will forget this unless somebody reminds me I watched it. <laughs> Does Denny's have pan coins? No, they don't. I wish they did. You don't have Denny's there? Who doesn't have Denny's around? Whoever doesn't have a Denny's is fucking... That's the worst. What a sad place you live. IHOP is also great. Yes. If you if you are eating IHOP, that's fine. That's totally fine. <laughs> Mickey. Look, if you have a Denny's or an IHOP near you, you're good. But if you don't... My standards? Are you kidding me? That's that's no standards at all. Eating at a Denny's or an IHOP, there are no standards at all. Zero. What an absolutely beautiful song from Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, which is nominated for most anticipated game tonight. Thank you to Lauren Allred and Maestro Lauren Balf and the Game Awards Orchestra. They will be back later to pay tribute to our Game of the Year nominees. But that's not all we have tonight. What? For Final Fantasy fans. <gasps> oh my gosh. That set in stone. Lawrence is missing Final Fantasy. Deity. He's gonna because kick himself. The future has the power to change anything. He's gonna kick himself. Even the past. 
Lawrence Final Fantasy something. Who cares? Who cares? Doesn't matter. What? Why are they wearing techno armor? What the fuck? Why are they wearing like cyber plated shit? Oh man, they look like Fortnite characters. What the fuck is this? Uh, oh, Apex Legends! Uh, Final Fantasy! Whoa! You excited, Bruce? I brought back two beers. I'm not that excited. That's very no. fun when limits were made to be broken. When Final Fantasy VII Rebirth limits comes were to made Apex to be broken. Legends <laughs> on January 9th, and that key art you just saw was drawn by Nomura-san himself. Thank you so wow. much for that incredible announcement. Ugh. Now it's time to announce Rebirth? the winners of okay. a few more awards as selected by the fans and our voting right. jury. What do they show about Rebirth? The category of Best Score and Music. The nominees are Alan Wake uh, 2, Baldur's Gate 3, Final Fantasy 16. Hi-Fi well, Rush and The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Score. And no, the no. Game Award goes like to... Hi-Fi should get it, right? Final Fantasy oh, wow. 16. Yeah, right, right. For the... So, okay. All right. Well, Here weird, are the nominees but... for Best Independent Game. There were like Cocoon, two standout Dave tracks Diver, in 16. Oh, uh, Dredge, Indy. So Dredge, Polly? Not the Dave the Award Diver, right? To... Dave? Sea of Stars. No, yeah, it's not going to be Dave the Diver. They got, they got, they got like a, the they got a list at the exact time everyone support. was voting for. It. Baldur's Gate Three. Got to be Cyberpunk, Cyberpunk, right? It's the makeup vote. The we're sorry Final vote. No Man's Sky though. And No Man's Sky. That's played and out, bro. Nobody cares about No Man's Sky anymore. Baldur's Gate Three. Congratulations. <laughs> I would Aaron. never have guessed that. Right. Because they sold the game three game. years before it was. I don't know. Mortal Kombat One. Uh, Street Fighter Six, right? Okay. Yeah, that's F Six. Yeah. Street Fighter Six, and the Game Award this year goes to Street Fighter Six. Congrats, Capcom. Congrats. All right. Most I anticipated. My other anticipated. Game. Yeah, we're Your really burning through it, huh? Uh, Rebirth. Rebirth. Star Wars. Oh, you think Star Wars? Like a dragon. Infinite yeah, I know. Probably Re Hades Star two. Wars maybe? Outlaws oh, Hades two. Hades two. Inf uh, Andy. And the game award this year goes to Final Fantasy Rebirth. Seven yeah. Rebirth. Rebirth. Congratulations, Square and Nomura son. All right. <laughs> Well, it's been eight but months it's a since remake. the release of Star Rail, a Doesn't matter. Tonight for best Everyone game, loves the Final Fantasy. Fantasy. I played that game 20 years ago. Why are we anticipating? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. In yeah. Tonight, we have an exclusive look at Penacone, the next destination. But... The next part of Final Fantasy VII is not interesting. Lawrence, everyone loves Final Fantasy VII. Oh, the, the like fucking flashback when you go to Calm. Everyone loves it, okay? His stories tell of what is. And this is what some Hoyover shit. Is this Endless? No, there's familiar. a book. This is the next thing for Genshin. Wait, is it? This is Hoyo, right? Yeah, it is. Uh, don't you just want a weird lady with a big hat to tackle you? I kind of do, actually. Glomping's not a thing anymore. What's glomping? Oh, that's the, like, tackle hug. Oh. That's the glomp. Yeah, it was it was a weird thing about etiquette in anime conventions in the aughts, which was like, glomping was a thing, which meant that weirdo nerds were just like tackling people, and then there had to be a discussion about like consent. Yeah, Ew. it was a whole thing. Yuck. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yes. And then like, boy, aughts aughts culture was a hell of a thing. Ladies would walk around with paddles that say yaoi on them, and then if there was a hot dude, they would spank him with it. And then there had to be another conversation about how that's not okay. The path of the will Man. Continue. You want to like... Perhaps, from one of these pages, you... Appear in your story too. Bros, like, bros are very obvious well, with their with their consent violation, Memory. right? The way you say bros, you go, bros? Bros. The galaxy but you get a... You get a nerd lady at an anime convention and they go fucking buck wild. A nominee tonight for best <laughs> They'll mobile violate game. anything Monster you've ever Hunter heard. Monster Hunter Now Ugh. is the new mobile yeah. game from Niantic and Capcom. Like all Niantic's games, Monster Hunter they're Now is the real yep. world. And they're doing the thing. They're like, they're they like during a baseball game, game when yeah. the character like walks right out and now, like dances for a little bit and then a lower third pops out telling you to items for new stay tuned for Family Guy at 7 p.m. available now for iPhone and Android, so check it out. Monster Hunter Now. Coming up, we've got an How much exclusive money did new Jeff look just make? at the new Fallout 15 series. Grand? Uh, no, right I was going to say 40 grand. 40 grand. I believe it. I believe it. Mm, we're back here. All right. Lego Fortnite. Wait, first person Lego Fortnite? 
I love that they ripped off Rocket League and they're like, fuck it. It's the, the same now. shit. That's the... I Honestly, like, the more I think about the bigger game companies as tech companies, it makes sense. Yeah. So they're like, hey, we'll make your thing and also we'll outspend you. So you're just going to get crushed. Yeah. You either license to us or we kill you. Uh, I wanted to make a drinking roll for seasons. Like seasonal trailers. Oh, that was a good, yeah. You see the word season. I think that might be the next gear. They're... You know what aggravates me? Is they're trying to change all their fonts to match the Call of Duty new logo, which is terrible. I hate it. But they have these, like, high-angled, yeah. lean fonts. It's shit. I really hope that's not the, the aesthetic of the 2020s. Please, dear God. I really like the narrow, tall fonts of the mid-90s. Your, your demolition mans. All right. You, you remember the Culver City Police Department? If you no. ever go past that building, they clearly decided the aesthetic of their building in like 1995 because that's exactly what it looks like. That's what the future should look like. Everything's tall and narrow. Mm. Season one. Do you see that? Season one. Yeah, this, I'll, I'll take a drink. These fonts are garbage. I'll take a drink for season one. I don't like these fonts. Hey. Ooh. Remember when Inside Gaming was all Agency FB? If you Google that font, you'll see it everywhere. Yeah, you're right. The fucking Director's Guild uses Agency FB, and I hate it. On their official logo? Fuck. They added an eagle to it to make them seem more patriotic in the 50s when the car was all around. Skull and Bones is not out. Again, people have played this game. We doing a shot for season one? Are we? Are all right, we? yeah, oh, let's I do think it, let's it's do just it. a drink. Yeah, let's do it. I'm sorry, I think I can't... All right, all right. Peer pressure, peer pressure, peer pressure. Thank you for getting a little paper towel. Oh, of course. Yes. I'll try to knock blurb all over your, your mask. I think vodka probably evaporates clean, though. Right? What's in there? Potatoes? Half shot, half shot. Yeah, half. A half seas for season one. <laughs> sorry. Lawrence Skull is trying to watch the trailer and pour, Ubisoft original. And pour a shot. Right, I'm excited for Skull and Bones to be a real game. Me too. That was a new look at Skull and Bones from Ubisoft, which is coming out on February 16th. I'm happy to announce that players can okay. register now for the upcoming closed beta hey, from December Hey, the Tribes 3 playtest is coming up in a couple days. I've already registered for it. Fuck yeah, me too. It's actually happening game game right now, tonight. I need to play it. What are we doing, Bruce? I don't know. We're watching the Game Awards. Shazbot. Cheers. To Tribes. To tribe. To the battlefield before battlefield. Hey. Hmm. Dishonored 3. No, it's not Dishonored. Dishonored has no clout as a brand. <laughs> Why I? Redfall 2. No, it's, it's something new. They they need a uh, they need a breakout IP and they don't have it yet. And it's not Dishonored. Redfall 2. It's not Redfall. I like the barbershop. Oh, it's It was funny seeing all the people that were speculating about Dishonored 3, as though Dishonored were like a anything that sells. No. I, this is Saints Row. This looks like Saints Row, bro. No, I know. It's, it's Arcane, man. But it could, not Saints Row. What, if, what if they license it on THQ? Buy. No. Uh, some new property, maybe? Yeah, it's gotta be new. I don't Red, bite? Redfall 2? I don't bite? It might. Well, it's Red now. Yeah, it's Redfall. Dude, they're doing a Redfall update. I fucking knew it! I fucking wait. Knew that it. was a euro, though. It's well, this nice is uh, Blade Redfall. Blade. Oh, Marvel Blade, the game. What the fuck? There you go. Joining me now are Tinga Bakava from Arcade what the Leo hell? and Bill Rossman from Marvel to tell us how did this come. So they're together, gonna use. Guys? Well, All Jeff, the Redfall you, the assets for this game. Marvel games is our is that why they made Redfall? Bringing together it might world class be. talent with a fan favorite but character. There's no way this game love. is like a now, we are huge online co op game. No, it's single player, Not whatever. Only but because of the it's all the same shit that they use for Redfall, for Blade. That's why they fucking made Redfall. Everyone else is like, why they make Redfall? Why they make this fucking games and service, whatever? Because of this. But there's no way there's an asset crossover unless it takes place in the like. Does it take place in the like? In like New England. 
I mean, like, they totally all the used all the same bullets. Like accent. what they what they just showed and, uh, is red. When we had, you know, when Sebastian Miton and I had an opportunity to chat with Marvel, that's totally why they made it. No wonder really everyone was so, was wondering why they made Redfall well, when Arcane normally makes wrong. single player games. But it, it, we ate it up. There's, an, I mean, the Arcane. What can you reuse though? Played, if you like can't reuse the environments and you can't reuse the player models, they're gonna reuse all the like the fucking combat. They're gonna reuse the. Use the models. They already game, showed the models. Single player. The same with Red I mean, they had teeth, but Blade like it wasn't the. For true believers, of, like it's a dream come true. They're totally very excited to learn absolutely. more. Absolutely. Why it's, this character? I don't know that it's gonna be good. Well, he's but, the daywalker. Uh, Eric Brooks is half man, half vampire, so, torn between the warm so is Blade the and Barber? living and the rushing power what are we? of the undead. No, no, no. And, uh, Blade is. I mean, like he was getting his hair cut. So. Uh, oh, Blade was the one getting his hair cut. So, Hold yes, on, I, it is a dream to be making a game. What the about fuck Blade were we supposed to Paris, understand about what was happening in, in this trailer? Lawrence is is <laughs> so confused. Well, I love it. Nothing adds up here. I don't, I, don't, I, I just don't see any like transfer of the assets they made for Redfall to Blade. For sure. And Unless it takes place in New England, so they can the use the right. environments. But I'm like, regardless, it's, it doesn't matter. Like they're going to use it an online. Oh, I'm sorry. The they're probably going to use the. Uh, the is it combat. an online co-op game? Uh, is it on? Is it co-op? Okay. Uh, probably not. They're probably going to use the combat. Can you have like four blades just blading around? Blading into this immersive. It's not a shooter either because Blade is all melee. Like in the heart of Paris. Saying they're going to use what they. Made. You sit back, <sighs> let us cook, and voila! Dude. Merci beaucoup! <laughs> Merci! Okay, okay, so. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Thank you very much, so, it was, guys. honestly, it was tragic right, awesome. when right. Sunset Overdrive now didn't sell because then Insomniac got acquired, and all they're gonna make for the Raptor fucking lives. Marvel Games and Spider Man games, yeah. So, it's just arcane. Like, this. This is the narrative of Arcane going under. They fucked, and now they have to do like spawn. They have to do sponsorship. They have to sell to Marvel. They have to do Thank a. You guys. They can't make their Thank own IP you. anymore. Fuck. You guys didn't. <laughs> Oh, Anthony Mackey! Hey, I just want to say here. a big thank you to Captain everyone America. who watched Twisted Metal on Peacock. And hey, 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 oh, hey, 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 hey. You watch uh, uh, Twisted Metal. It's actually pretty good. Twisted Metal is actually pretty good. Yeah. Twisted Metal is the good version of Cowboy Bebop. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. He's good in it too. Huh? He's great. I mean, Anthony Mackie's honestly, he's great in everything. So. Okay, all right. I know I say a lot of different things. You can't scream them all. <laughs> oh, we will. He's great in everything. <laughs> I'm worried about Blade, man. I'm worried now, about Now, no him. one knows this yet. So you three guys. <sighs> when is Arcane made a good is going to be slasher? Because of our incredible That's not fans. what they do, man. You're right. You're not wrong. Okay, but, okay. Twisted how about this? Metal is coming back it's Blade, but it's like two Hitman. You're like an assassin. You're, awesome. you're in yeah. like an Everybody environment. You gotta. That sounds rad. Nothing about that that preview implied that, which is Blade getting a haircut. See this section right here? You guys look great. How you going, baby? I don't trust this dude, but y'all look great. I'm gonna work in the crowd. No, no, no. Twisted Metal is actually really fun to watch. It's like it's super enjoyable. It's not like an amazing television show, but it's like really fun to watch. It's watchable. What is wrong with y'all? It's the most watchable you can make. Twisted Metal. That's right. Stop it! You Mommy, mean, stop it! Okay. Look at him. Look Love at him work too. in the crowd. I Look see at him. you. I see you. Okay, a little too long though. All right. Shut up. We gotta okay. move on now. Today! There it is. There it is. <laughs> the best games Remember are when like Lu came universe. out and he was playing Constantly Halo on his phone? Expanding no. With new content no. and challenges. Was that last year? Yeah, he was right? like, what? You guys don't play Halo? <laughs> for best ongoing game That's what we got right now. The games that continue to deliver fresh experiences for their loyal communities. Here are the nominees. Best nah, he's great. He's game. great. He's working it, man. He's, he's great. working it. That's not gonna win. He's kneading the dough. That's what it is. You see that right there. Cyberpunk's way. gonna win. Yeah, it's a makeup vote yeah, again. That's right. Those motherfuckers voted for Nier Automata. Good score. Florence is Cyberpunk the best video game of the last three years. Yeah. Huh? Hold on, let me think about that. The best video game of the last three years. Okay, I get so many cool points. Cyberpunk is, well, is, Tears of the Kingdom is in there. It's uh, so it, like right. Tears so, of the Kingdom, but Cyberpunk is no, an amazing Cyberpunk, video game. Yeah. The Cyberpunk. Game Award goes to it's Cyberpunk. Shut up. It's gotta be Cyberpunk. Cyberpunk 2077. There it is. You gotta make up for it. It's you motherfuckers. It's such a it's such a fucking good game. You dude. bought into the negativity. It's you bought into the negativity. It's such a good game. 
We knew it. We knew it in 2020. Yeah, we did. We talked. Lawrence and I. We would. We called each other. And we were like, bro. Yeah. Cyberpunk oh is actually goodness. really fucking good. And everyone's what shitting on it for no been. reason. Holy. Video games Gamers are awesome. don't deserve art. This is an incredible moment. From 2020 was an important year for me because it, it severed my connection Liberty with uh, authenticity. And, uh, That's right. Ultimate That's right. edition. Nobody. Like, it's not what this is about. And the resilience yeah. of the team. Best score was right there. That's right. Story. But the voting impact, audience at the Game Awards said Nier Automata had a better score. <laughs> Weird. Just being fun. But here what we are. That? They're making up for I, it. This is exciting. It's, team. The same we shit happens at the Academy. It's, it's just like employed. in political it's waves, and then you got to make up for it later. But then you inherit a weird voting debt, right? Which is like, I mean, you're constantly making up for the thing that you didn't see when the political shit blinded you to it. Exactly right. Journey gave us feedback. Is that Pavel? Oh, oh Pavel? Pavel Sasko, yeah. Oh, he's the best. Twitter, you should watch his streams, actually. Pavel's he's the best, dude. He streams dude. every Sunday. He's the... Well, he used to be the quest director. I, he might he might have been... Cyberpunk was a buggy mess at launch? I mean, no, it wasn't. For Not for us. Guess what? It's the job of... Thank our you so much. auteurs like us to Thank see you. through that Thank and you. tell you what the good content it wasn't. Is. I mean, like we played it on PC and it was great. We fucking loved it. Don't you want your media mavens to see through the bugs games and the recommend to you like the games GTA that are have artistic merit? Isn't that and what you want from your gaming now personality? Now great studio, video game. LA. Steve C. Martin is here to unveil a brand new project. Steve? Of course it is, Bruce. Of course here. that's you what people it, want. They want games, personalities that so cut through the bullshit and say this game is good. At Lightspeed LA, myself, of course that's and a what remarkable they want. team. They don't want Over people to just dunk on the negativity. Talented, yes, they do. Diverse, nah, they, love the they love the dunking. They love the dunking. What's Lightspeed LA, do you think? Fully original. This is some like in in a t shirt. Open world game. Mm. Tonight, AAA. We're really open excited world. to offer you all, all right, hold on. a sneak peek at what we've been yes, working on. Dr. Pittner, you're right. You're right. I'm, <laughs> seriously, I'm so excited to share so much more with you in the future. There you go. But for now, you're absolutely I hope right. You all enjoy, this first taste. Yeah. enjoy your time out. Amazing. Let's Got take it. a look, Steve. Here we go. Didn't y'all dunk on Starfield? Uh, we did not revel in it after the fact. Not at all. Uh, I fucking loved it. No, I loved which, it. Actually, I, I pitched to Bruce a couple times. So, uh, I pitched a couple of like Victory Lab dunks on on Starfield, but no. Eh. We called it early. That's the thing, which ideally you want out of your gaming media personalities, is to warn you early when hype is overdone, which we did with Starfield. We got a lot of shit for that. But when it came out, and uh, that's for true. When it came out and, and, and it was kind of mid, like we didn't produce like 15 videos celebrating our rightness. Uh, oh. Going to be okay. I did a couple times because it's cheeky. But, yeah. Hmm. Japanese running. Oh. Oh. Okay. I thought that was going to be an Akira slide, but it wasn't quite. Maybe there should be a shot rule for the Akira slide. <laughs> what's wait? What, what's the Akira Akira slide? The, uh, the Akira slide. The Apex slide? Yeah. 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 This is like that uh, Neil Blomkamp cyberpunk game that is nothing. Follow me. Follow me. Is this bright memory? And then, and then, it's combat time. Qual? What are we doing here? What is it? It's very blue and red. Cool. All right. Okay, so it, I guess it's Me? a character action game. What is it? Oh, we're into another game. We got stompies. We got ray tracing. We got some. Lift your this, head. This is oh, it's got to be Death Stranding too. Yeah. <gasps> no, maybe not. That, that's a weird segue, but you're right. No, this is too on the nose. Too biblically accurate angel. Look at those heels, bro! Whew. She got some stomps. She got some enemies enemy stomping heels. Take a breath and look around you. This looks like Death Stranding. Though. It really does, yeah. It's not. 
Are you sure? Yeah, no, there's there's a character with a face. No, this is a, it's a service game. <laughs> Another fucking service game. But it, uh, ah, fuck. I mean, it kind of looks like Dragon Ball, actually. Get it together, Ralby. Uh, okay. Fate always tests us. Got a fat ass. You have to fight until the end. I'll find this really you. Looks like Death Stranding a lot. It really does. We got grapples. Oh, this thing. Yes, yeah. Is this known? I've I've actually like heard of this game. Yeah. Next on. Okay. That was the first Descendant, which is launching the summer of 2024 from Nexon. Uh -huh. Now we have a new look at Hoyoverse's next big game, Zenless Zone Zero, an urban fantasy ARPG. I'm excited I about it. I know you are. Wow, we had I, I had hoped that when we accepted the sponsorship from them that I would get right to play the fucking well, game. But it turns Ho out no. So Hoyoverse actually is making games that people play. So yeah, Hoyoverse is dope for now. I'm sure they'll have their, their turn down. Hmm. Okay, I mean, the music's good. Show me gameplay, though. You bet people play this. Lawrence would play this. Fuck yeah, dude. I'm I'm into these games for the art assets. I want to hear the music. I want to see the characters. That's it. I already know it's going to be JRPG bullshit. That's fine. I'll put it on auto and 1.5 speed. You need a drop. There's maids. Yeah, whatever. No one's impressed. <laughs> We've seen it a million times, bro. Show me that music. Is this, is this nostalgic? This is like some 2012 beats. Nah. You don't think? Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Can you imagine, like, what if, uh, what was the Bioware game with the shit logo? 2019. What? I have no idea. The last game they launched. It was the it was the one that was supposed to save the Anthem. The, yeah, Anthem. Oh yeah. What if Anthem was this? Sick. It should it should have been. Oh, FromSoft had to show them how to do it though. Hey, look at that! You can deploy. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, this is this is Armored Core, but. If they want to make a more hardcore armored core, I'm into it. Oh, look at that, Bruce. They showed you. They showed you hit scan weapons. I don't care. That's important. That's a that's a game design tenant. I don't care. Can the can the player click on something and shoot it? I don't care. I care. I swear to god, like not obscuring player inputs is a whole design tenant. You're either on one side or the other. If if your inputs matter, good. If not, you're a slot machine. You're you're Call of Duty. That's right. Ah, that was cool. Okay, who made that? We Amazing. We gamers mm. to demo the okay. latest cyberpunk. We're we're, we're moving on. But we haven't cyberpunk. told them what they're playing. On. I swear to God, Let's every, see what happens when everything in gaming out. now amounts to can you mouse over something and click it and does it matter? Yeah. Real. <laughs> Does it like bacon bullet spread yeah. bullshit? Forty series. They're actually playing on a Chromebook Plus. Wow. Streaming on GeForce now. You're playing on a Chromebook. Oh Chromebook? You're all streaming. That's there. crazy, Lauren. The Game Awards aren't in this room. I'm gonna throw what I say. That's crazy. Guess what? You're playing on a Chromebook. That's a pretty good ad, though. A little short change, but like the whole reveal. The huh. tide of war is turning against us. This hell divers? As we battle against the bugs, the atomic. Yeah, it's hell divers. Yeah, hell divers too. Is that game out? 
We need valiant soldiers to take I don't know. I'm yawning. Do you want to play Helldivers, Bruce? <laughs> yes. Remember when Helldivers? No. And ah. democracy. Yeah. That was pretty cool. Democracy and then all the explosions. They're, they're leaning into it. It's a little verhoven esque you know, a little Starship weapon. Troopers. Fight alongside Would you like to know more? Worth dying for. Join the Hell Divers. Yeah, there it is. Good for them for understanding their influences. And list today. Hey, right. Would you like right. to know more? Play Hell Divers. Oh, it's not out yet. Right on. What is your life? My oh, uh, Space Marine 2, maybe? Oh, this might be so what I don't think it's Space Marine 2. Craft. My craft is dead. That's a big four. Weirdly. Yeah, it might be Space Marine what 2. What is your pledge? No, Total War, Warhammer 4. My pledge. Hey! Again, Amber? Weirdly specific. Yeah, Space Marine 2. No. Okay. 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 I'm excited for Space Marine 2. Me too. Okay, now we have a special surprise for you. Live and exclusively here at the Game Awards. Imagine Dragons. Ah, uh, here it is. Welcome, Here's the dance. Welcome, welcome. All right. So we have a shot rule on I Jeff dancing. Host, he will he dance. And I well, present to you the old gods of Asgard. Oh, they got Mr. Door. Selling writer Alan Wake. That's pretty cool. This is Herald of Darkness. You know this, Bruce. Yeah, but Jeff okay. didn't dance. Sam Lake is definitely gonna come out and dance. Will Jeff join him? That's the question. Oh, that's a uh, yeah. That's the voice of Sam. Oh, they got the actor too. They got them all. Well, there he is. I like that this is like a really bad stage play because like it's a really bad stage play in a really good video game. Yeah, so I appreciate that. Remedy games have long harnessed the uh, creative juice that I also harnessed at Funhouse, which is like if you own the lo-fi aspects right. of your yeah. presentation, yeah. then it becomes charming. That's right. Yeah, I like how dorky this is, exactly. Yeah, Remedy is, is like capital D dorky. But, okay, this is the dance. All right, where's Jeff? Where's Jeff is not going to be dancing with this. You're right. But what if he did? I'll drink. It's not a hard dance to I'll do, take a little Jeff. drink for this. I want to say I want to say Ika Malmo, but Malmo is a city in Sweden. I think you're a racist. No, that's not even Finland. Oh, we got the flying V. I bet it, it must be weird to be the guy that uh, plays what's his fucking name. I mean, like I guess Ika Alan Billy. Wake. Ika Billy. Right. Well, no, the guy that plays Alan Wake because. He's like, well, what do I have to do? I have to like fucking dance this show, and like, I have to like do a live action shoot where I'm like pretending to be someone else. It must be super weird because it was what ten years ago. Yeah, and then your character resurrects. I, I think if you're a performer, you're happy that anything you did has of course, any of course at any time. Yeah. So. Man, it's weird to see that dude and the voice coming out of him. Where's Jeff? There it is, Sam. Oh, I, Sam Lake. I called Sam. You're right. I was hoping that Jeff would come out. Nah, and Jeff's not going to do it. No way. Jeff will not be dancing. That was a shot rule. We'll see. Maybe they'll do a, an encore. No way is Jeff dancing for this. Jeff doesn't dance. Yeah. He does Jeff, not dance. Jeff is so protective of his image. Okay. 
okay. <laughs> I mean, it's it's cool. I've been a fan of Remedy for decades now, so it, it's it's nice to have their they, they have their day in the sun. See, good for them. Hey, no Jeff dancing, but that's all right. That's fun. That's fun. I think I saw hmm, is it erratic from CD Projekt. Oh wow, that was the fabulous Poets of the Fall performing in the role of Old Gods that was of Asgard. It. 90 the seconds. Band, Sam Lake, Remedy Epic, the cast, and everyone involved to bring that performance. No, to no life. Game Something Awards you will Orchestra. Only see right here on the Game You're Awards. Right. Now it's time Ooh. for an update on a game we announced back at TGA in 2017. Mm. Oh, this is not Bioware. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. GTFO. <sighs> Lawrence is about to fucking have a stroke. I'm going to lose my mind, dude. <laughs> If fucking Bioware shows up with another non-fucking trailer, I'm like, <laughs> I mean, they already did it on Dragon Age Day or whatever. Dude, can we get to Claire an Inside Games Day? What do you mean? Well, Bioware gets to Claire two days. They have a Mass Effect Day and a fucking Dragon Age Day off of releasing, like, one and a half good games. All right, tomorrow's the Inside Games Day. What day is it? December 8th? December 8th, yeah. Tomorrow, well, they, Inside Games Day. Inside well, Games Day, all right, that's fair. That, that means yeah. we don't do anything. Yeah, <laughs> we do shit. We need to have like a montage about how hard we work. <laughs> a lot of, again, truck shots of me hunched over my PC, <laughs> making, making thumbnails. <laughs> I should share my, uh, my Inside Games 2023.psd with the internet. Joining me now is Ulf from Ten Chambers. Crazy, that was six years ago. I mean, GTFO is legit, GTFO. though. It's a great that video game. It's fucking an amazing video game. Lethal Company is kind of GTFO y, right? Probably, yeah. I think there's no, you're right. Yeah. Some Screened more out some of the mechanics, on, but. Right? Yeah, first of all, I have to say thank GTFO you. GTFO is not thank funny, and Lethal Company yeah. is. Of course. Yeah. 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 I feel like GTFO. <laughs> this suit it's is similar. fucking amazing. It is. Like GTFO is all about like the disposability yeah, 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 of your human. Anyway, but, but again, uh, GTFO yeah, is not funny at all. Yeah. And, uh, like it's like it's it's like when you die, you're like sad. Project, like, but in Lethal like Company, you die a lot, are, and yeah. it's great. And this you were known for payday, things like that. So you're back, yeah, back to some heist stuff. I, I guess. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now we're back to doing a heist game again, and it's sort of a, a, a sci-fi thing that I've been dreaming up since I was a kid, basically. And yeah, it's. You know, I have a lot of fun in the world. Playing GTA yes, we oh, should. me too. You've been working on this it's for a, a great number game. of years. Yes. Yeah. I'm so excited. It's yeah. finally it's time. A great video game. Check out the new game from Ulf and Ten Chambers. Oh, Here we Ghost go. Ghost Dog said it. it's uh, December 8th in the UK. Happy Inside Games Day. Happy Inside Games Day, everybody. Make sure to watch a ton of Inside Games videos today. Cancel the reservation. We're not actually putting out any new content. Eh, well, well, oh, wait, hold on. We're going to have an edited down version of this drunk gameplay. Yeah, a GTFO is a gamer's game. Lethal Company is just kind of like, that's right. get in there and just like that's stick right. around and make some stories. I'm okay. GTFO reminds me of like, a, what is it? Arkham Horror. Like the, the, the board games that take an hour to set up and it's designed to make you lose. Yeah. And the idea is to like provoke your ego so that you get in there and try to beat it. This is cool. I like this. There's a lot of artistry here. What this isn't just for? for a GTFO expansion, right? This is a new thing. What? Yeah, we got ADS. Yes. <laughs> it's not what, Mr. Bowman. It's who. You see, just like me, you caught here. You're caught. It's got that Alan Wake color grading. It's all sickly greens and harsh reds. Okay. Kind of wolves. Hmm. Unlike the four. with trailers that show like video game abilities you know 
I feel like Left 4 Dead set set the golden standard of a video game cutscene that has the mechanics baked into it. Okay. So that you can have some impression of what the game will be like based on what you see. It's not like the uh, Starfield theme. Was that the Starfield? All of four is. Starfield is. <laughs> Inon Zer did both, I think. He did. Yeah. Inon Zer did Dragon Age Origins, man. Inon Zer is like. I mean, kind of a genius. He, he's an old hand. He's the. Uh, we're waiting for his uh, Elfman glow up, where he writes the uh, he writes the hook that everyone can't forget. I mean, Starfield music is pretty fucking great. It actually is, yeah. yeah. When you get away from the Exoborn. Sure. What does that mean? That what does that mean? Exoborn. I met with the team at Gamescom to take a look at that upcoming tactical There's four people jumping into a shit. Exoborn. And besides facing other players, well, of course, his music factions, is fantastic. Vertical gameplay, as you saw in the Forces of mm. Nature, unlocked the potential of the players' Maybe it is. rigs to help I didn't play it long enough to know. That's good. They say. Much it? more is coming yeah. in 2024 on Exoborn. Now, please welcome the voice of Loki in Asgard's Wrath 2. One of the most ambitious What's this, uh, celebrity and anticipated and... VR games yet, Matt Mercer. Oh, never mind. Nah, it doesn't count. Never mind. No, nope. we had actual Loki here. Oh, we saw the the we saw the promotional wraps of Asgard's yeah, Wrath too. Uh, the uh, mobile game. I yeah. am Is it a mobile game? so beyond excited to show you this trailer for our Asgard's Wrath too. I've been working with the Sanzaru I mean, he team must be so and bringing Loki to life. It's just been so absolutely exciting. amazing. So Imagine and, being uh, Matt Mercer and being so Asgard's excited. To, as a lifelong gamer, I'm I've never been as excited as anyone. A lifelong so, uh, gamer. I'm honored to be a part of this Imagine franchise. Imagine being Matt Mercer. And Lawrence, thank everyone at were you, are you a lifelong gamer? I don't know that you are. I'm going to be honest with you. So, well, I'm not Matt Mercer, but I am a lifelong gamer. But two. All I can do is emulate his excitement to share with us the meta quest reveal for Asgard's Wrath. Life to. long. The gods take everything from mortals. I can't wait. See the trailer that Matt Mercer was so excited to show us. Deny spirits their rightful passage. So like your shield is here and then you slash. <laughs> Like, Lawrence is being cynical again, guys. Lawrence is being cynical again. It might be a bow. Maybe you like hold your arm up and you're. Lawrence, he will. He might love this game if you played it. I might. I may. Well, Matt Mercer's excited about it, so clearly there's some heat here. Oh, you got a harp? Wait, hold on. Wait a minute. Oh, okay, that's your bow. They're showing gameplay. I'm all about that. That's awesome. This is like more than 90% of the trailers have done so far. It's true. Oh, dude. Oh, you chop okay. Here to right your wrongs. Wait, 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 wait. The bow had like a scope, though. There was like an arrow. So what? They just fished. Uh huh. Wait, that's soon, man. Eh? Imagine grabbing loot with your own VR hands. And you're like, mm, and he punches you. You wall run? No All right. Time or place stick cord in his A. <laughs> okay, you hold your sword up. You get the you get the buff, and then you slash. Lawrence is doing the simulation, the simulation of the game. Yeah, I'm playing Asgard's Wrath too. I hold my sword up. I get 20% attack power. And do this. <laughs> and then I win. Right? Foolish oh, well, no, we got a little post-credits so thing. To the chaos that awaits you just outside. Uh. I'll see you sooner than you think. Ten members. <laughs> Sound like it. Great job. It's been an amazing year, not just for games, but for adaptations <laughs> yeah. of the games we love. Right now, we have an exclusive look at the highly anticipated new series, Fallout. Oh, Lawrence loves it. I'm actually really, I'm really looking forward oh, to dude, this. Dude, no, it's gonna. I'm be very, I'm oh, very excited about this. 
Now, how about we turn on some lights? I love Walton Goggins. So, I was going to say, Walton Goggins is great. I love He's Walton Goggins. He's fantastic. I'm begging you to realize that Fallout's not that good. It's true. You're right. But I'm looking. Oh, they got the guy. They got I'm, the guy. I'm looking forward to Walton Goggins. They got the dumpy guy. Oh, they got dog meat. Remember dog meat? You bet I do. There he is. Well, you know what they say. War never changes. War never changes, Lawrence. Lawrence! I'm so excited. It's not going to be good, but I'm so excited. It can be good. Maybe it'll be good. Please welcome Aaron oh. Moten. Brotherhood of Steel! The world of Fallout is a good place to tell stories. Brotherhood of Steel! Remember them? What's they should have had ink plots. Uh, I hope you don't mind, we brought a little extra security. Uh, does Walton Goggins count as a celebrity appearance? Well, he's promoting us, something video game related. Yeah? For you all to see yeah. on I, I like the logo April. treatment, actually. The, the like, the drop honored. shadow on the, yeah. the lightning bolt? That's new. For best adaptation. No, this is... Yeah. Yeah, okay. Oh, is Jonathan Nolan writing it? I actually didn't. I did not know that. <laughs> that's actually that's a uh, very encouraging Westworld. Westworld season. I don't believe that. I don't believe it. I believe they got his name on it, and then his script is going to rewrites. Yeah, but we should probably hurry this up. I don't think he can breathe in there. Yeah, how you doing, man? It might be good. Please, for the love of God, adjust your expectations downward. That's all I can say. Okay, so this year, video games and film. What story? Like actual story, words on the page, dialogue spoken into your ears, story was good in Fallout 3 onward. Please I would, I would think about that. I would agree. Oh, Nocturne's actually badass. Yeah? Watch it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's really good. No, I haven't seen it. I, I'm behind on Castlevania. If you don't think there's hope for the world, why bother going on? He wrote three episodes. Huh? I got this. No problem. Wahoo! What are we doing here? What is this? What is this award? Best adaptation. Wow, wow. Uh, the best imagine, game. Goes imagine the to Oscars having an award for the best the movie adapted into a book. <laughs> Last of Us, yeah. No shit. Oh, of course. I mean, like, oh, it was a really good television series. I don't care. Oh, all right, all right. Was it good? It was. It was very good. Mm -hmm. Very well made. Okay. Good drama. Good acting. Good writing. I could good see. Good production. Yeah, I could the see. Whole that. deal. Last of Us was made to be a. a construct for a TV series. Also, a yeah, specifically, I don't like The Last of Us narrative. The show itself is very good. All right. So. Is uh, is there anything about the show that uh, couldn't have been in any other crime. apocalypse narrative? Is watching up in Canada, getting ready for season two. Uh, huge thank out to our Naughty Dog question. family. Yeah, this that's kind of my thing. Is like, okay, you told some good apocalypse um, yeah. stories. Thanks to HBO Congrats. and the support they've it just given happened us. to be branded like a game, of but whatever. Thanks to our Last of Us community. None of this exists. Whatever. Thank you so much. It's well made. Good we for them. It's a well-made television show. Well, I mean, I, I remember playing uh, last year and being like, why is this a game? Swan and the whole PlayStation so it's team. good that it's and a TV a show, and it should Thanks be a so TV much. show, and it's great that it's a TV show. Yeah. Why is it in the Game Awards? Well, maybe Borderlands will win it next year, and Randy Pitchford can get up on stage <laughs> and tell everyone about squirting. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, man. Some vestiges of old gaming here. So those hot reveals, we haven't had a lot of them yet. Not a lot of hot world premieres. We got fishing though. We got watering plants, I'm okay with that. Hmm. Got some crabs. Alright, I'm sold. It's a Dreamlight Valley knockoff. Which is to say an Animal Crossing knockoff. Although, an active minigame to cook! Did you see that? You hit the button. This looks like Sims. Yeah. And Steph is all about Dreamlight. I'm really glad that she is because I get to like observe how they're trying to convert that game into making a shitload of money. It's fun to see them manipulate the in-game economy. Oh, we got it. We got puzzles. Yeah. Hey. We got glyphs. I spit on my. Oh, Palia. Yeah, yeah. Oh shit. All right. Wait. Free on Switch. Wait. You know about Palia? I do. I, I've never played it, but it's like uh like a Stardew Valley, but like. You know, first person, third person, whatever. Okay, right. It's free, baby. Imagine. Wow. That must look dorky as fuck if you're not playing this game. 
imagine like swinging your two-handed sword when somebody else is trying to just cross the road. You bop them in the face. Ay. Oh yeah, the future class demanded demanded that Jeff acknowledge the political crisis he's going on in the I game right, or in the world right now. Wait, did he? Put it uh, into the previous games. future classes. I mean, it's evolved over time. Came together and said, Jeff, you must make a statement. Well, what, and he ignored everybody? them. Clearly. Hindsight is a narrative exploration game which spans. But we got new future classes and they don't have Mary any political qualms. Is taking a core of something <laughs> that. Law Dog nominated for Hater of the Year. Really? No, I can hate stable. harder than this. Whenever someone it's true. tells me that Based on this? Come on. Lawrence can actually made, hate harder than this. You think this is pig hater? Feel. Give me yes. a break. I want to keep doing I'm only that. warming I keep up. Making people feel things. This has got to have a truck shot of an Man, of a developer making assets. This has got to. Could you imagine CD Projekt making a, like a, a video celebrating that no one shitting on their game anymore? <laughs> I know. Oh, we got some, some I know, gifted some, memberships. Some of the on gifted YouTube. a membership on YouTube? God bless. God bless. I gotta I gotta fill out the the YouTube emotes. Right now we just got I think it's only the Bruce face. <laughs> we haven't really landed on a lot of beams on the inside beams. Not at all, no. People want you to hump on Wednesday, Bruce. They want it so bad. I know. It's, it's too bad it's like literally ten years ago, yeah. Yeah. Right. What a fractal interceptor singularity? Are these all expanding? What's going on? Are they announcing future expansions? Okay, so you can like be in a dock with a bunch of other players. Hmm. hmm. Oh, they're that all right previous there updates. is No okay. Man's Sky, a game we announced 10 years ago with this guy right here, Sean Murray. Sean, uh, looks like the content keeps rolling in 2024. But what is the next decade like? Water. Do it. Back. Well, to start with, uh, next year is going to be a really big year for No Man's Sky. Like you said, I've been working on it for 10 years now. And oh, I still really love it, still really enjoy it. But... What people don't know is oh, that Sean for the last Murray. five years we've been working on something. You didn't there. lie to us at all. Uh, another game. Yeah. Something very oh, different. Oh, Sean something Murray, you're the best. Maybe more ambitious. Um, right, you know, guys? For, uh, Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us a bit about it, Sean. Uh, well, for No Man's Sky, we generated a whole universe of kind of sparse, alien looking planets. And that wasn't easy you know it was hard but there is something guys much sean murray he to do. all he wants uh, to do is make a video game, game that you want to play to for fun Earth. that's um, it you know something as that's all buried a planet that all right guys buried as a universe something sean murray is just Earth. working something hard with, for you, you know, mountains real <laughs> mountains not video game mountains but yeah i know he lied to you high, directly that when you about things that were going to be in no man's sky See but now rivers, he loves you. Canyons and continents. You know, Remember you when he was oceans. enemy number one? So just I like do. An open world planet kind of thing? Yeah, I mean, the first real oh, yeah. open world, right? Something without boundaries. Uh, and we're going to let everyone play in it together. It's, you know, a place where people can live out their sort of adventures together. Well, we can't wait and to for better uh, take or a worse. look at it. Uh, you have the one tonight, thing I love about sure. gaming yes. culture is so that the games trailer. matter. Oh. That's it. Um, people can get and, mad, know, but if the game gets patched and it gets updated and it's good again, people come back around to it. The, and even in, in, in other situations here, where it's like uh, something might get overhyped, but it's not great uh, on release, very people still to react to it and they adjust. Yeah, we're super nervous, you know, but really excited if, you know, people like it. This is a game I would like to still be updating 10 years from now. He's All saying right, multiplayer again? Oh, no. <laughs> He's saying Sean Murray is we'll be the... Back. But no, uh, uh, let's take a look. This is such an Yoshi incredible P project. I'm honored that we travel. can show it up. Should we, should we do it, He's, li yeah, He's a liar. Here we go. Nah, He's a dreamer. 
<laughs> He's a dreamer. Yeah. Uh, oh. Multiplayer's here. Procedural. Don't. Don't do this. Don't do this. No, don't do this. Don't do this. Don't announce a new game. Don't do this. Any of this. But multiplayer, Lawrence. Ah, uh, don't do this. In-game multiplayer, but it says right there. I mean, if it's an engine and they already got it, there's pips up there, which makes it seem like UI. Ah, oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. What are you gonna do, punch trees? Are you gonna try to make some fucking, you're gonna make a bedding? And then you're gonna make a wall, and then you're gonna make a uh, roof, and then you're gonna make a forge, Whoa, and you're gonna fucking make a that. sword. That's so cool! You're gonna make an iron pickaxe so that you can mine the better, better rocks, so that you can make better armor. And... Damn, bro. Okay. I mean, that's cool, but that transition was alright. Maybe finish the other game? <laughs> hey, it's alright. I got Sauron Towers. This looks like a fake trailer from like 2004, right? But it's pretty rad that that's a real game now. Theoretically. Is that a Magic Dragon? No, there's no way it's a Magic Dragon. What is this music? Yeah, it's it's too like... It is all J. Hey! You called it CB Jordan. Alt J is not even a shortcut. No, you're right. Weird. Do you know what? You know what I really? If you hold Windows and Alt and then you use the arrow keys, you can like snap a window to the thirds of your screen. Right. I didn't know that. Yeah, all right. Windows, Alt, left, third. Windows, left. Oh, new half. video game. Light, no fire. Mm. Mm. The Man's Sky sequel. Promethean. Why would we play that Remember, instead of No Man's Sky? From an independent team, absolutely incredible. Independent for years to show that. Lawrence, to you. And, Andy, uh, again, created sure. by guys, Hello yep. Games. So uh, very, very exciting. Good independent. For to, uh, yep. Can't wait to punch like trees and make rock show walls. Kind of the next and... decade of where games are going to, and hopefully teach <sighs> you too. All right, now join me in welcoming to the stage actor Simu Liu. Oh, that. maybe he'll play Halo on his phone again. You guys know no Halo? Is this awkward? Oh yeah. Uh, oh, he's got his boot. He's got a broken leg. Maybe he got injured doing a stunt. What's up, everybody? How y'all doing tonight? My God, I'm telling y'all, so turtleneck and chain. It's going to be the so look of the so late 2020s. Um, I'm really All right, on. first off, I want to address Steve the Saylor was the rocking room. a fucking turtleneck um, and chain. Oh, was he? Yeah. That's fine. Looking you guys, good. I, I did tear my Achilles. Uh, I wasn't riding a dragon. I was playing pickup basketball in Miami. I wish, I wish there were a better story to this, you guys, but the story is this. Um, you know, as you age, as you get older, you know, particularly as you cross the 30 threshold, your body starts to break down, all right? Things start happening, um, unless you're Anthony Mackie, for whom I think the laws of aging don't apply. Um, guys, just, if you're not Anthony Mackie, right. learn to appreciate right. the importance of strength. Is this awkward? Do we right. take a shot Very for this? Very important. Um, Keeping it real at the game. Yeah, of games, he's right? keeping it real. Right, yeah, yeah, poor no, shot. Poor shot. Sure he's keeping it real. That I'm, I'm really, Let me really see me excited about. Show up and give I us a shot. I recently got a chance to team up with Frost Giant on their new real time strategy Halo? game, Storm. <laughs> now, RTS is a genre that I was absolutely <laughs> obsessed with as a kid. I love I'll play some Halo on my phone. And obliterating my <laughs> Wait, you guys don't know about Halo? He's Conqueror, like, of course, my absolute all time favorite game, StarCraft. Hey! Wait, what? Yes. All right. Hold so on. happy you guys cheered for that. Um, now, if you've been destroyed by carriers and void rays on Bnet at any point over the past ten years, that what? was definitely you got me. You got me, Simu. What's going uh, on? And here? that's why I am so Look, excited. The subtitles for even intercapped the Starcraft. Yeah. I Good for them. All right, but I loved it. Look, that's why I love Stormgate. It was made oh, by a team oh, of yeah, yeah, StarCraft yeah, developers. Yeah, yeah, Stormgate. Yeah, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. In addition to competitive, you're buying a lot of clout with me right now, Simulu. Ongoing campaign that was written half by shot, half shot. with a little yeah, it's a half from the legendary Chris. Metzler. He's not that awkward. And so, no, he's not yes, that awkward. He could I be more awkward. I brought a little bit of gameplay for y'all. Oh, and a little the first taste of gameplay. Wait, isn't Stormgate character who, playable? Uh, I have no idea. I thought I thought it like just released a playable build today or something like that. Anyway, cheers. To see you, Liu. To real-time strategy. Storm. You want some Dave Matthews vibes? Listen to, listen to the Terran tracks from StarCraft. <laughs> Actually, wait, no. <laughs> That's I don't want Dave Matthews vibes. That's not Dave Matthews vibes. 
I don't want that shit. Vibes. That's goblin vibes. Darn, darn, darn. Not to pee. God's name, have we done? I just want to listen to Terran music from Brood War now. Fuck. How good was fucking Wings of Liberty? Hey, how good was it? Look at the look at these zerks. How fucking good was that game? 2010 did not deserve StarCraft II's Wings of Liberty. <sighs> Y'all gamers, I love you, but also sometimes there's times where you don't deserve good things. And not appreciating Wings of Liberty was one of those moments. And it's like, you kind of get what you deserve when you don't realize the good shit. So it is what it is. It is what it is. That was me. You sound like my dad. Fair. <laughs> See? That's fair. Uh, Pretty good. One right? day you will sound like me, <laughs> and, uh, and, and then you'll have you'll have a big reconciliation moment. Here are the Your eyes will go in focus, and you realize I was right all along. Best but that's okay. I can game. wait for that moment. You're that's part of being older. I, be story, right I can be story. patient for the ignorant <laughs> youth to catch up to my uh, brilliant Smart. intelligence. <laughs> Uh, it's all a bit, right? Sort of. This is how I this is how I excuse it to myself. I love being pretentious, but at the same time, uh, I can't get rid of uh, the common man, the common gamer's voice in the back of my head. And the game award goes to. That's what makes me. That's what makes me. No surprise here. Legend of Zelda: Tears of the Kingdom. All right. Well, at least they got something. Baldur's Gate is probably going to get Game of the Year, but they got this arbitrary genre-defining shit. That's good. We clap for that. We like that. We like that. We like that a lot. Inside of, inside of every Texas man is a stone-cold Steve Austin trying to escape. <laughs> Just pouring two beers yeah, in my mouth and smashing them over my head. Wait, Stone Cold Steve Toad said so. I'm so glad to be able to be here yeah, to yo. accept this reward, this award on Hold behalf on. of everyone who worked together to Prince create this. Princess. Hey, what about a I gotta, I gotta look it up. Zelda on the Encetsu no Naka de, mottu mo sou dai na bouke ni naru yoni, ishou kenbe tsukuri komimashita. Capture and putting, putting her in some paintings. Uh, yeah, here we go. All in, in what? Making this game the best that it could be. What the hell is that? It's Stone Cold Steve Toad! We're missing an award, what is this? What's the award? What's the award, Lawrence? What, the, what happened? Best action adventure. Who won? Stone Cold Toad said so. Who won? Uh, A.G. Aonuma won Best Action Adventure. Winners in a few more categories Zelda? Of the game awards. Yeah. Here are Best the Action Adventure. Best RPG. Oh, what the hell, three. Lawrence? Final Stone Toad. All right, Tears said so. Tears of the Kingdom of won, won Best Action Starfield. Adventure. That's a and pretty good award. That's a great award. Baldur's, uh, Baldur's Gate, yeah, of course. Yeah, there it is. Obvious. They're not going to do it. Uh, he doesn't get to. Oh, well, no, that's it. We're done. Advance Wars 1 and 2 Reboot Sim Camp. Strategy. City Skylines 2. Company Fire Heroes Emblem, right? 3. Fire Emblem Engage. And Pikmin 4. Pikmin. And the Game Award goes to Pikmin 4. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Bruce understands. Here are the nominees for Best Sports Bruce has got Racing. It. Sports game. Racing. Let's read. EA Sports FC 24. Hot Wheels 2. F1 23. Nah. Forza Motorsport, no. Hot Wheels Unleashed Forza. 2, Turbo Hot Wheels 2, baby. And the Hot Wheels 2, baby. Forza. Forza. Hot this Wheels 2, baby. Forza uh, Motorsport. Congratulations. Turn it, 10. Really? I mean, the nominees for Best Multiplayer this year Ball, are Baldur's, Baldur's Gate 3, Diablo Baldur's 4, Gate. Party Animal, Baldur's Gate. Street Fighter 6, uh, I mean, Mario Super Wonder, yeah, Mario Wonder might win this. But yeah, because the, the multiplayer features in that game were actually really Baldur's interesting and cool. Play. Okay. Baldur's I'm Gate. Yeah, yeah, I'm right yeah. again. Hey, we, we got a sip from Player's Voice. Baldur's Gate. Baldur's Gate. We got a sip from BG. Baldur's Gate. Baldur's Gate. Gate 3. Cyberpunk 2077 Phantom Liberty. Genshin Impact. Voice. Marvel's Spider-Man 2. Baldur's Gate all the way. Wait, is this the... Wait, is it the people... And the Game Award goes to... 
Baldur's Gate But yeah, that's a BG. Baldur's Gate. That's well, a BG3. Baldur's Gate. That's, Gate. that's a sippy sip on BG. Let's take a look now at this spectacular celebration of mobile gaming I'm too good on at this. Sphere from Google and Samsung. I'm too Google fucking good at this Samsung. shit. Bruce has got this. I nailed it. Bruce is the voice of the people. <laughs> Oh, the, the, on the orb. The fucking orb or whatever the fuck. I love that shit. The sphere, the biggest the sphere. Uh, Bubble games. Oh boy, Ebony is here. Oh, defend your kingdom now, me lord. Remember, <laughs> man, dude, remember on Facebook when there would just be like tits? And Ebony would just be like, look at these tits. I do. That's when gaming was real. <laughs> Now it's Clash of Clans on the Vegas Sphere. It's bullshit. It's all gotten just it's too much. There's, man. there's no tits. It's too much. Where's the tits, man? <sighs> Where's the tits? Did they know that the Game Awards is not in Vegas? Oh, it's the oh, no, they don't know. I've been looking at a new phone because this phone is trash too. garbage, dude. So, all right, so me too. I've been, I've been looking at the fold. Shit, this is garbage. I've been looking at the fold. And Google fumbled it hard, and, and, and everyone's saying the fold is not very good. So I've been waiting. Mm. I'm not doing drunk touching. I love Lawrence. Yeah, we, come on, this. we can do this. Look at this. Do Lawrence this. is the best. Don't you kidding me? We're fucking best friends over here. It's we we best friends for years. It's got a stride. Let's rock. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, the fans are gonna love that character. <laughs> she got that tit napkin. <laughs> Wait, what? The titty drapes? What the hell is a tit napkin? Or it's just like, just kind of like... Oh, all right. It's just a, like, a, it's a flounce. Okay. So she's like an I know then. She's got her... Hmm. Chokers, man. I feel like chokers are going to be the 2020 thing. El felt Valentine? There she is. Oh. Dude, imagine being named bad guy. <laughs> How cool is that? Oh, oh, a new like a, game a three, mode? Holy shit! That's awesome. Okay. Rad. Good for them. Mm. Mm, mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is a truth social. This is a truth thing. Yeah. What do you yep. mean? What? They're gonna tell us not to vape. Fuck you. Oh, you were right. Yep. How'd you know? Dude, you can smell it. I grew How'd up in you the know? I grew up in the church. I can smell like... I can smell preachy shit from a mile away. <laughs> I know it. I know it. I know when I'm being lectured. Is this Avatar? Ark. Uh, where's Vin? Ark sucks. Where's Vin, bro? Where's Vin? Ra what? Play what? Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> fuck. Where's Vin? All right, welcome back to the Game Awards. We still got some awards to hand out. <laughs> it's Shadow almost Man fucking 8 p.m., dude. It's and been we have three hours. More world premieres. Yeah, that's the runtime of the show. We're done. Yeah. We're done. That's it. <sighs> oh, we love CB3. Oh, we got we, a DLC for 16? Dude. Here it is. Yo, I'm going to say it right now. 16 was so much fun. Yeah. 16 was so much fun. And everyone was like, this is not an RPG. It's an action game. And I was like, bro, it's so much fun. I fucking loved it. I loved playing it. I would have played the shit out of it. And everyone's like, it's not an RPG. It's an action RPG. Who cares? And I was like, it's yeah. awesome. Yeah, y'all gotta go get over yourselves a little bit. I fucking loved it. If you think uh, uh, JRPGs are like non-linear, bro, I loved it. Come on, man, though. Hey, there's there's meters on screen, <laughs> and that means it's gameplay. Eh, eh, eh. Didn't they say they weren't gonna do DLC for 16? Title gauge. 
There was a title gauge meter brew. I fucking loved it, dude. Don't you want to activate your title gauge? This game's fucking sick. And if I hadn't been, uh, like, if I was not a streamer, did you get to the Titan fight? Yeah. Uh, okay, yeah. I you, would not. You heard the song. Man. I would not have played. Like, I would have finished the entire fucking game because I loved it. I actually didn't finish 16. I'm, I I'm, loved it. I'm waiting for the Experience PC release. Experience new adventures before the final battle in Final Fantasy 16 with Echoes of the Fallen, which is out tonight on PlayStation 5. Tonight. There's a shadow drop for you. Now to present our next what award. What does that mean? Direction, Tell me what. Please welcome one of our industry's greatest what is that? creative forces. What is it? The creator what is of Call it? of Duty and Global GM for Star Wars Jedi. Battlefield. Oh, here Titan comes the. Fall here comes the Titanfall. Titan what did he say? Vince what is Star Wars Jedi Battlefield. What the fuck? Oh, Vincent Pelagra. Yeah. Ba -ba 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 -ba. You ready for the? You ready for the new Battlefield? It's not gonna be out. There's no way. If they reveal Battlefield, I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. Good evening, everyone. I love Battlefield so much. So do you want? Do you want like a future Battlefield? Do you want I don't give a fuck Actually, what it is. Design. I just want more Battlefield. The best game design huh. is almost always part chaos, right? No way. Uh, today it's is his really first time presenting, I think. I'm doing a full shot if it's Battlefield. Years on huge open There's no way it's Battlefield. Battlefield is like the most hated franchise of all time. No. That's great game design. So tonight, Battlefield is legendary. The nominees for best game direction. I knew it. Oh, yeah. No, he's not announcing best anything. because I fucking knew it. No, Battlefield is best game direction. Titanfall or uh, Alan Wake, Baldur's Gate. What else? What do, you, what do you got? Best game direction. Spider Man. I mean, Spider Man was a well directed game. It is, yeah. I don't trust. You get. Alan Wake? You think Alan Wake's someone in? Fucking Zelda's so fucking good. Dude. I don't trust any fucking games journalist to understand what game direction is. Alan Wake is probably the winner of this, right? Oh, oh, Zelda. Okay. It ought to be Zelda. Oh, okay, fair. Game of the year is uh tier or uh wait, hold on. Baldur's Gate. It's Baldur's Gate, right? Yeah. There's no way that game of the year is not Baldur's Gate, right? It's I'm gotta just, be Tears of the King. I'm trying to think of a like a narrative about game direction. I think Death Stranding one deserved game direction. Because Thank you. Kojima uh, founded a new studio and dance. launched a new IP a yeah. in like three years. Hector, Nicole, that is direction talent. In and that's a big vision. deal, but uh, crazy vision, <laughs> crazy There's, vision. Yes, like direction is nothing without a team to actually build it. And and huge thanks to Remedy Team for joining us. Are they crying on this venture, <laughs> wanting to believe, I'm crying. believing it, and 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 build it. Lawrence is crying. Uh, you know. We can pull into different directions, and and I think it's a legacy comes award. out of it. But Bro, when Tears of the Kingdom should be winning way more, more awards. People, yes, uh, believing like the same more. vision, and, and there ought to be a technical achievement award. Yeah, and Tears of the Kingdom miracles. deserves yes. that. Yes. That's correct. Art, and we can be there more ought to be a some of our parts. like uh, humane employment award? world today. Oh yeah, yeah, because maybe like Nintendo more fucking more. kill. Yeah, yeah. Uh, one other a, thing. You haven't uh, laid off employees in five Monday, years. Award seven, 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 right, uh, yeah. New Game Plus, the final draft is going to be coming out. Wait, what? New story content. Hey? Uh, so, yeah, go play it. Thanks. Wait, wait, wait. Thank you. Thank you, Game Awards. The final draft? Is that what I heard? Like a skin graft? I have no idea. Hey. Hey. I don't, I don't trust. Having worked in games media Please for 10 welcome. years, I don't trust Please any of my contemporaries to award best game direction to anyone. Anyway, I'm gonna pop up on a tall boy of Bud Light right now. Hell yeah. After having judged all my... Uh, the finals. When we started building this game, we set a bold vision for ourselves. We said that- uh, The finals is a great game. If it's not to hacked unique. to fucking bits. It needs to be something that no yeah, one else is doing. It's a great game. Doing. Mm. Standing here today, Tribes Three. I'm so proud and grateful. I love the amazing team at Embark I love the finals Studios developers because they're all Battlefield developers. Dream a reality, and they're that means and that I course, I've been loving them for years. Are amazing but also, players. it's uh, watching you play the absolutely finals hacked a bit. Has been so. the most gratifying Honor. experience of yeah, my entire career. 
you're not just a part of this journey. You guide us and you inspire us. And I, I love feel like that. that's the the virtue now, of developing a single player game is that and keep you curate this peeled. experience yeah. for yeah. some dope the in, in their living room. Might be sooner than you think. You don't invite a bunch Thank of you. other assholes to right to ruin it. It's a great video game. It really is. Excellent. It's well made. I like that. Very well made. I I saw a lot of this in um, Rainbow Six Siege, which is like the planning around the destructibility of your environment to be able to breach yeah. through walls yeah. and stuff and shoot through walls. All right, Here we go. You got another one. You got another one. Bruce, we go. Do not, do not, for a second, question Bruce's love of games and, and Bruce's love of like Battlefield style open. I open promise, environment. I love video games. I like, I've been playing the final since the alpha. Mm -hmm. Like, no one be like, oh, like Bruce doesn't know what the. Trust, I, I, I promise you, Bruce knows. I love these video games. I love them. Bruce is the realist. This is why we're such a good pair, because I'm I'm the like pretentious auteur. Bruce is the everyman, the it's every true. gamer. It's true. And he's he's good, man. Like that's that's the thing that was a bummer about where we were previously, is all of your work hours were occupied, but now you've been able to oh, like, I love it. own that shit. I love it. Bruce is the slaughterer. I played like Battlefield, I'm like, I heal Bruce. I played like 200 hours of Battlefield. I fucking yeah. love it. I love it. The best I can do is make Bruce's health bar big. <laughs> That's what I got. And he That's just like right. slaughters. That's finals it. finals is out tonight on Steam, Xbox Series <gasps> X and S, and what? PlayStation oh, 5. Oh shit, that's a big Time release. Night. That's make a big sure drop. That's Game actually Awards a big drop. Fortnite we don't well. have a... Uh, fans have been voting for their favorite. We don't have a shot award for that, but maybe we should. We do a shot, yeah. Is Fort Hoot. Yo, Congratulations. that's a big the deal. Hot drop, baby. All right, good for them. Good for them. XP boost. Make sure to unlock. scan that QR code and hit that. Skins. The island code is below. <laughs> Still to come, the presentation of Game of the Year featuring should we, our, should our we, orchestral we salute pop your, to the nominees. Uh, Epic Games QR creator code for the finals. Is it on Epic Games? It's I not. Think it's on Steam. It's man. not, yeah. No, it's, it was a cheeky... I was just, I'm just being cheeky. I'm just, I'm cheeking it out. Oh, oh, that's, that's hefty. That's a heavy shot. Yeah, let's, let's, uh, all right. Here. What? I'm gonna, oh, thank you, Bruce. Thank you very much. All right. Yeah. Let me cork this, because I'm gonna knock it over. Oh. <gasps> Larian! Now, it is time for you all right, cheers. to join the Cheers. To the final. To the final. Shadow drop. Hey. Destiny. Wow. Everyone's using the Final Fantasy XIV font. Two. Aggravating. Ugh. Entertaining. Ugh. Entertaining. Ugh. Imagine being a games journalist, right? And you, uh, you, you're you like shotgunning Red Bulls to, to play this game over 48 Ugh. hours. And you write a review. And then they just say, entertaining. You can... How many sentences did you bash out? Entertaining. Did you ever get quoted? Never. Nah. That's never happened. Have you? So they... Someone from Square reached out to quote me about a, uh, like a, a thing for mm -hmm. Marvel's Avengers. Okay. And what did you say? I said, it sounds like a game that I've always been waiting for. <laughs> Which is to say, an online beat 'em up with heroes, where you can like beat things in the lobby, but it's really bad, yeah. yeah. And they they reached out to me and like, I do like need your quote on. I've always been waiting for it. After the show, check and I out said, the TGA post show no. on Twitch where oh. who will play because I was watching the like pre-release stuff for that game, and I was like, mm, awesome. bad game. Thanks, Doesn't well, have the juice. The bad video game. Yeah, Doesn't have the game. Final world premiere. Oh, oh. right, we're getting towards the end of the show, and this one, Bloodborne. I will let speak. For itself. Bloodborne, uh, New Vegas. 
It's got to be. This is the show. This is the show stopper. This is the real hit, right? Again, I Bruce, I told you, the TGAs is sinking below the waterline. Yeah, what the fuck is this? Are they only get indies, and they only get people that are like going to. This has got to be Arc Two. Please tell me that Vin Diesel is going to show up. Oh man. no! What is, what is this? This is their this is their showstopper, huh? No. A bunch of like monster models clipping into the ground. Okay. Sure. Just like put that Z axis down a little bit. Oh, this is Black Desert Online, I bet. No, that's or, that's a showstopper. The new one, the like uh, Crimson Desert. I people think people are saying Monster Hunter, but that that would blow my mind. <sighs> There's no other players. That's like the first thing you would show, right? Maybe not. Mmm. Mmm. Monster Hunter. Yeah. What the fuck? Okay. Oh my gosh. No. Sure. Be no. Because he because he promo their mobile. That's it. Ah. Uh, the Monster Hunter now. That's why he got this one. Ish. Bro, that sucks, dude. This is the new Game Awards, that man. That fucking sucks. No Elden Ring DLC. Like, that sucks. Because they don't need Jeff. 2020 fucking five. That sucks, Woof. Dude. Because they know they have their own promo events to run before that. No. Please, Nobody needs stage, Jeff anymore, Monster man. Monster Hunter series producer, Nobody Ryozo Tsujimoto. Jeff. It's so great You're to right. have you here at the Game Awards. Oh, we got to hang no. Out in Osaka it's just indies. Where you showed it's just indies play, and people that have that. That sucks, dude. Wow, you guys, no Elden Ring DLC. Everyone Not even the Elden Ring DLC. Uh, uh, so wait, what's, what's hitting this? in like pre-March 2024? That was what this whole show was about. So everyone fired their guns in 2023, and that's it. That's right. There's there's no games on deck for like pre-March 2024. Damn. So from software is doing their own release. 2024 is going to be a very narrow year for Elder Ring DLC, probably in the like the first half of the year. But like that's crazy that they they didn't show anything at the Game Awards. Release in 2025. No. Uh, 2020. I think everyone Five, wants to know bro. when do they get to see more on this? Any that sense sucks. of when we're going to see more on this game? Imagine being I, uh, Jeff. And you're like, you're in everyone's yeah, inbox. Yeah, no, I know. That sucks. You're going to all the studios. You're like, hey, give me something, give me something, give me something, baby. And they give you, okay, we'll give you a reveal for a game that's coming out two years away. Monster Hunter Wilds. I mean, Monster Hunter is a huge series. It is, but like, announcing the next franchise is a big deal. Nah. But it's not a thing yet, nah. Also, I'm not, I don't like this logo. I don't. The, like... We plan on revealing more I'm information gonna, I, about so this So weirdly, I, I don't like the serifs. I actually feel bad for Jeff so because ever for like all the also, other reveals Capcom have happened. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. like even at the beginning of the year, like they're going to do more reveals in January and February or whatever. But like Jeff's kind of getting years. fucked. We couldn't yep. have done so. it without you. Oh. Capcom that sucks. What's he got? That sucks. He's got the clout. He's got the viewership. He's got that 100 million viewer number. Excellent. And you know he was throwing it around, but I, I feel bad for him well, there. Well, now to present Game of the Year. It is what it is. Film, I... Wonka and Dune Part 2. Uh, Please welcome YouTuber. Timothy Shalom. Modded Controller 360. He's back. There he is. Oh, I like this vest. Okay, okay, all right. t shells has got a, uh, a fine cut. The uh, imagination, passion, they didn't and adjust the mic for his height. Six nominees for the game <laughs> of the like, year were truly inspired. Uh, Baldur's Gate, right? Here with a medley of yeah, games. Are we Baldur's game of the year? Yeah, yeah. Once yeah, it's again, it's it's Lauren Balf and the Game Awards Orchestra. Guys, if it's not Baldur's <gasps> Gate, I'm gonna game do Game Awards Orchestra. Oh, I'm my bad. I'm gonna do my another bad. shot. If it's not Baldur's Gate, I'm doing another shot. It's guaranteed Baldur's Gate three. If it, uh, so okay. So, wait, wait, wait. You're doing a shot if it's not Baldur's Gate? That's right. I'm doing a shot if it is Baldur's Gate. All right, all right. Muad'Dib. God, he <laughs> wasn't... He was in, like, the prelude to a good movie. You watch Dune? The first one? Yeah. Yeah. It was good. 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 There's no way oh, it's, it's Alan good. Wake. There's no way in hell it's Alan Wake. That's another stray situation. It's right. either Baldur's Gate 
It's gotta or be. Or Tears Baldur's of the Kingdom. It's gotta be. Baldur's it's Baldur's one of the two, but it's Baldur's Gate 3, I promise. If you. it's fucking Alan Wake and that's Hyper Bubble, that's Hyper Rider shit, capital W, it's no gotta be Baldur's Gate. Wait. I mean, I'm a. I'm a. Uh, her. Wait, Flute Guy is. Wait, is Flute Guy here? That's Flute Guy. Yeah, you saw him. He had the hair. The Flute Guy? The Flute Guy. Oh, shit. Where was the Game Awards theme? There was. Bah, 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 bah. Wait, what's the. So, hold on. Wait, Starfield. What is it? What is the Starfield theme? Da, 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 da. Wait. Starfield is. Uh, ba ba. <laughs> Actually, no, I'm not sure. I remember F Fallout 4 is like three notes. Ba -ba -ba. Uh, that's Fallout. Yeah. What's Fallout? What's Starfield? Da -da 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 -da. No, it's not that. Fuck. <sighs> I'm sorry, Ainon, if you're listening. I remember. Uh, Ainon Zer is like a fucking genius. I was in a. I was in like a, a media shit with Ainon in like uh, to the 2010. I was like, I loved your work on Prince of Persia because I was listening to his tracks and he was like, oh, thank you. And he's still going for it. He's, he's the best. He's slinging it. He's the best. No, that's not it. No. Nope. There he is shredding. Blue guy. Yeah, blue guy. Damn. I'm sorry, Jeff. As a as a producer, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you had to pay the salaries of all these people. I thought I thought he screened it out. I thought that was the point. Oh, he's, he... yeah, that's right. that's okay. Jeff loves his memes. He does. He loves recapturing the memes. You know what I love? Denny's. <laughs> <laughs> I love going into Denny's and seeing my promotional flute guy menu. <laughs> I want to get the double flute guy pancakes. I went to Denny's a lot for a minute because you could like... Oh, there it is! Da, uh, da, 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 da. That's the Starfields? That's that's uh. the VGA thing. Da, da, da. Oh, yeah. That's it! Bum, 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 da, da. All right, shots for the VGA theme. Oh, right, yeah. Because this is the first time we've heard it. That's it. That's exactly it. Baldur's Damn, Gate 3. Fuck. Baldur's Gate 3. I'm annoyed that I didn't... Oh my gosh. Did you drink half that bottle? Holy fuck, dude. No, no way. Yeah, we okay. have. That's half that bottle, bro. Yeah. Uh, oh. T, t Shells is pretending the is... game of the year? Baldur's Gate. Baldur's Gate 3. <laughs> Good for them. It. They deserve it. Absolutely. They absolutely deserve it. But also, it was released three years ago. Three yeah, years ago into early access. Yes. They published the game. They accepted money for it. I paid $60 for the video game three years ago. Imagine releasing a movie three years before you win an award. For I'm it. just saying. Yeah. All right. I love the video game. I love what I uh, I love what I played. Yeah, I didn't expect it anymore. You know what game released um, complete thank you. and bug free? Thank you so Tears, much. Of awesome. Tears of the Kingdom. Tears um, of the Tears of the Kingdom. You know what game yeah, released it perfectly? A 2017 Android tablet and didn't bug out and, and, and was super stable and had crazy years, physics and uh, on this game. And Tears of the Kingdom. Sometimes very That's difficult okay. circumstances. Yeah, yeah, this was our right. COVID game. They didn't um, ask for money for it. Along the way, we, we lost quite a few people sure. also. They worked on so it. We they were dedicated to this. Yeah. Uh, to people shit people on Tears of the Kingdom because it was $70. Uh, to Jim, our lead cinematic, uh, Motherfucker artist, is maybe uh, one of the away, greatest video games uh, I've ever the, played. Uh, last month. Of all time. Um, possibly perfect. I want to thank over 2,000 people. people that worked so on Tears of the relax. Kingdom. Uh, made a perfect but, video game. Uh, I also right? yeah. Uh, yeah, want to thank everybody that supported us. I can't argue with that. I... Uh, I dispute effort, the uh, perfect. Our families, our friends, our partners. Uh, uh, you were the best, we're and without you, we couldn't have done it. That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. Thank you. I got a lot of light beer in your carpet. Sorry about that. That's all right. Cheers. The Baldur's Gate Three. The Baldur's Gate Three, which absolutely deserves it. Absolutely. 
That's a lot of beer. I'm sorry. Congratulations, Spanik. Congratulations to all of tonight's winners. We will see you next year at our 10th anniversary game awards, which I'm Whoa. happy to announce. We'll return right here to the Peacock Theater really on like Thursday, towers. December 12, 2024. Uh, yeah, that one. Happy I gotta tell. Good night. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm, you know, I'm sloppy. All right. I'm all right with this. Baldur's Gate deserved it. Hey. Yeah. Can move your chair? Oh, sure. Oh, we got a Game Awards compilation. What's happening? I'm messing it. I just don't want your stream room to smell like light beer. Yeah, I mean, hey, Frida. How's it going? Frida's here to help. Maybe, maybe we can get that that face I was talking about. That's it. It's a game words game. We gotta we gotta take another shot, right? But Bentley! Right, fuck shit. Well, Bruce, here we go. There it is. World premiere. Wait, what's what's the world premiere? There isn't one. We're done. I This is honestly like. Is that the Game Awards theme? Dun, 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 yeah, it's very vaulted. It's very. Uh, oh. It's aspirational. Bro, for real though? I'm, I'm telling you. I called the trends. There's no. There's no. Hot reveals. You were right. Jeff's got nothing. That's I it. And I was right about Baldur's Gate 3 all the way around. Yeah, you are right about Baldur's Gate 3. It's rough. Guys, we don't want to be right about everything, but we are. We are. That's it. It just happens all the time. We appraise the situation. We're just, like, too good at it. Mm. So, like, I'm sorry, but also at the same time, we're, like, too good at it. <sighs> it is what it is. I... These are the trends. Cynic gods. Thank you. I, I was at the press mixer telling people there's not going to be any hot reveals here. That's, that's the motion in the ocean. People know that they don't, they don't need Jeff anymore. That's right. So, I don't know, Bruce, what do you think about this year's Game Awards? Uh, it was fine. It was fine. It was... The, the world premieres were too far between. It's a new world. Uh, the games industry is realizing they don't need media. That's right. Which, praise God, because media has been abhorrent for a while. Aggravating. Frustrating. Get rid of it. Fuck me. And I'm in the media, right? So, that's right. Hopefully this doesn't seem too, uh, too frustrating, but... Fuck me. What am, what am I doing? Why does Jeff have to do me any favors? Why does any game company that spends years making a product do me any favors? They don't. Games media has existed in a bubble of privilege for a long time, which is that, like, oh, oh, game publishers give you a window where it's like, oh, you're the only one who gets to see our game. Tell it, Lords. Oh, you you give us our reviews. Tell it, Lords. And theoretically, it's your, your like, unimpugned uh, opinion about all of this. It's all fucked, man. No one cares about any of that stuff. Also, the, the fucking nerds that review the games, they're, they're as subject to the whims of public opinion as any, anyone else. So why should one fucking nerd de determine the number that goes on your review that goes into a Metacritic score? That's right, Lawrence. That determines your fucking bonus. That's right. It's all garbage, man. 
It's all garbage. If if games media could prove themselves to be like adult arbiters of actual media, then maybe we'd be in a better spot right now. But here we are. Here we are. Game, uh, the game awards. You get a bunch of indie games and that's it. Because everything else determines that they're more popular than the game awards because they are, and they don't have to rely on Jeff Keighley to, to deliver them an audience. So everyone else is here being like, ah, oh, we got our dredge integration DLC. Jeff, please. And that's it. And Jeff is trying his best, but he's doing what he does. Everyone else can speak directly to the audience, and you guys determine whether or not you give a shit. We're going, it. we're going to Denny's. Are we? Yeah. Right, let's go to Denny's. Lawrence is right. If you don't know that, you failed. I just dribbled a lot of water on my shit. That's right. That's right. Anyway, I'm I'm fascinated for this new realm of uh, game media. Carve out, a, carve out a space of being a insurgent or whatever. Who cares? <laughs> How's it going, everybody? How's it going on? How's it going on the the commentary? Where's Timothy? <laughs> Timothy yeah, Shalman. Where's Timothy? <laughs> was was Timothy the like the big get? Yeah. He presented Game of the Year. Yeah, I know. Where's Timothy? Bruce? I don't know. I don't know what Timothy. I don't know what Timothy is. Imagine being Timothy Chalamet, and you've just like you've been in Wonka or whatever, and this is another stop on your tour, I guess. <sighs> Are, do do we feel like do we feel gratified that Timothy Chalamet was there? Yes. Yeah? No. No. I don't care. Okay. Fair. What was what was your reveal of the show, Bruce? There was nothing. No, that, I don't care. I don't. I, I don't fucking care at all. Huh? None of it. Yeah. Who gives a shit? Yeah. Yeah, because they all did their own shit on their own time. Yeah, it's nothing on their own channels. And here we are. This is us, though. We're we're like Jeffs, right? That's what, that's what we are. We're swinging in the wake, man. There's a lot of money. Oh. Oh, I think this is all flashback shit, though. Playing the new Dunk City track. Dude, the yeah, this is all flashback shit. <laughs> One up, girl, though. I don't know. That 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 line gets me. Right? I'll be your one-up girl. Oh, that's a good line. That's really nice of you. What? It's in the, it's in the song. I cried on a plane. What? I don't mind telling you. Of what? Listen to this. <laughs> Why did you cry? Tell me you're a gamer and you don't cry when you hear that. I don't. Uh, okay, well, I'm a gamer. You have a, you have a wife and a baby, but other some of us exist outside of that realm. No, yeah, we're, we're scrounging for humanity, bro. I've been a, I've been a gamer since I was five. <laughs> I'll be your one-up girl is still a really good line, though. Can't deny. Good shit. Look at me. Look at me. Here it is. What year is this from? <laughs> Game of the year. I hate the white fonts, bro. You gotta throw to this shit. I. Wide fonts. We're dumb. It's I have all to, about thin and tall. I have to send this video to uh, our editor. Uh, yeah. 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 Sorry about this. All of it. 
Anyway, 